All right, what's going on, everyone? Back again with another Sunday stream. It's 2004, and I'm sitting here chilling with my PS2 without a care in the world. Man, the good times. I miss those days. But uh, sadly, those days are long gone. And instead, it's 2022, and I'm still here with my PS2. Actually, this isn't even my first PS2. This is like my third PS2 that I've had. Uh, my original PS2 died last year, and oh man, it sucks. It really sucked. <laughs> I uh, luckily I had a backup PS2, and I I popped that in. I started using that one for a little bit, but it wouldn't read the the blue discs like these. It wouldn't read any of these, which was really weird. And then so I had to go out and buy another PS2. But luckily, I managed to find one. I don't even remember how I came across this PS2. Let me see. Yeah, I got three. I know I got one of them oh, brand... Yeah, oh my god, Coyote, what's going on? I'm glad you can make it up. Your day's been going good. Uh... <laughs> god damn it. Uh... Already out. God damn it. Awesome. The double shoot. The double tap. You gotta make sure. Otherwise, I'll just come back. Why does my tracking feel weird? I may be slouching. That's probably what it is. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's because I have my monitor higher up than usual. It's uh because I got like new speakers. So I didn't have a lot of space on my desk for them. So what I ended up doing was Ohio. just turning the speakers side. Ohio. Ohio Chan. Uh, what I ended up doing was turning the speaker sideways. So that way I could have room. And I put them underneath my monitors. <laughs> So, uh, and I also have a lot of paperwork underneath my main monitor, so that's why it's a little bit more elevated than usual. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I, one of the PS2s I bought, like, brand new, still in a box. The, the only, re the only reason it was opened was just to check the contents to make sure everything was in there. But other than that, like, had all the original wrappings and all that stuff, which is insane. You know what? It should have came with a controller. Oh, what happened to that controller then? Do I still have that box? I don't know where that box went now. It may have had a controller. Why am I freaking out like that? I don't know. What is going on with my mo what is What is going on with my freaking tracking right now? It looks super janked up right there it goes. Oh wait, did it catch up? Okay, there it goes. What was going on with it? I was like It's like freaking out for a second. Uh I guess it didn't like me turning all the way around or something. I don't know. Y'all know how tracking goes. I can't wait for that new NVIDIA thing to come out. The NVIDIA face tracking. Oh, man, I want to try that thing so bad. Like, oh, geez, dude. <laughs> Anything to save me from having to buy an iPhone. I don't want to buy an iPhone for the face tracking, but I will next year if it turns out the that the NVIDIA face tracking isn't all that great. Like, if anything, it'll probably be a little bit better. It'll be it'll definitely be better than the webcam, but then now I have a fr I mean I'm still gonna need the webcam anyways. So ah, man, that you know what that's that's that kinda sucks though. If I get the what's it called? If I get the iPhone, then I'm just like, what do I do with this webcam? I got two webcams, okay? I got one of them that does the face tracking, I got one of them for the hand streams. And it's I don't know. I I'd, I'd rather use the one that I use for the hand streams for the hand streams because it's got a it's got a light built into it so you get some pretty good stuff with it. But I mean I I could end up just buying a better light honestly. That's what I may end up doing is just like buying like an actual ring light or something. I kind of need one. But uh yeah, for today's stream I got like 3 PS2 games uh planned out. Hopefully I'll get through them all. Uh I got Way of the Samurai which we're about to do. Tenshu, is it Wrath of Heaven? I don't remember. There's like two. No, Fatal Shadows. Okay. I remember there's like two Tenshu games on the PS2, and I always forget which one I have. Uh, but I got Fatal Shadows, and then we got Trapped lined up. Not the band with the one-hit wonder. The video game. That was basically Deception... F originally, I think it was supposed to be Deception 4. But they decided to name it Trapped. And then Deception 4 came out on the PS3. And then it was re-released again with an expansion that was pretty cool. Uh, I never really got to play it all that much. I played a little bit of it, but not too much. 
very sad in many such cases. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, it's a it's it's a it's a damn good game. I never got to finish it because I never bothered to look through the main menus. And it turned out that you could upgrade stuff, and I'd been using like the same shitty gadgets and tools for like half the frickin' game. I think all the way up to like stage 14 or chapter 14, whatever it's called. And uh, oh man, I just had a tough time getting through that one. It was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> like, but now that I'm not stupid, you know. Maybe I'll do better. Continue save game. We'll begin from beginning. Oh man, it, no wait. Continue save game. I think. I think that's what it was. The save will be erased if it reads once. Do you want to continue? Ooh. Yeah, we'll do. It. Oh wait, no, I accidentally hit X. Tutorial. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't. Oh no, wait. I want to see records. Let's see. Ah, uh, it only. Number of people you killed, 21. No endings. But I've gotten a lot of titles out of this. Uh, I guess start from the beginning. We'll do normal again. Honestly, like, I'm at the point where if I die once more, I'm just gonna start it on easy. <laughs> so I can actually get my way through this game. But, uh, we already know what we're gonna do. There we go. Oh, we get the weapon that we want. Look at that. 13 attack and then 26 defense with an extra 485 life. But I didn't upgrade it because I didn't think about it. Ah, oh, dude, it sucks. It's fine. Oh, man. It's going to be rough. We'll take both of them. Oh, no, wait. Can I take both? Equip. Okay, I, I guess we got it equipped. All right. Yeah, yeah, we got both of them. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. No, I mean, honestly, we're just going to go. We're just going to roll with the black. I don't even remember what I sent my name to. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forgot to give shoutouts earlier today. I always forget shoutouts at the beginning of my stream. Uh, thank you, Charlotte, for the shout-out the other day, and thank you, Grimmy VT, for the follow last night. Very much appreciate it. Oh, I was, I was very much appreciate it. I was literally about to, like, be so mad, because my, my PS2 controller analog sticks felt really freaking janky just now, but, uh, it's good. Alright. So we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna save the girl... Stop it right now! She doesn't like you. Uh, watch your tongue. Okay. Oh my god. Holy jeez! How much health did that do? How much damage did that take? Oh, it was so good. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, it's not how much damage I took, that's just how much health I have now. There we go. Damn. You arrogant fool. Holy jeez. Jeez. Game, please. No. Please, let me block. There we go. Can I please block? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die and lose this sword. Oh, jeez, stop! I like trying to disengage real quick so I can go pick up some food over here because this dude is like legit beating my ass right now. I shouldn't have 
There we go. Okay, let's see if I can still do the parry. There we go. Okay, we're good. I hate the stupid kicks they do. I wish I had the double triangle attack. I really do. Zilla, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. I hope you've been enjoying the stream. I'm trying to get this guy right now, but uh, it hasn't given me the combo that I needed for it. Oh, jeez. Isn't this guy supposed to give up now? Holy crap. Okay, no, he's... Oh, no. There we go. Oh, that's so good. There we go. Now he's fine. Now he's finally giving up. Okay. Get out. I think it's that. I don't know. You just you sheath. You sheath and then you let him go. That's right. Good with that sword. And then after that, you can either choose to join him or not, which uh, we're not gonna do. We're. Uh, we're being the good guys in this one. I'm not interested. Okay, that's too bad. Yeah, we know. We know the story. We, we've we been through this story like a million times now. I should honestly just play it differently. But I'm just... I'm really locked in to, try to trying to get this playthrough done, the, done right the first time. Are you alright? Don't mention it. I keep pressing triangle right. instead of circle. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Canbread? Glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good. If I offer you lunch, I appreciate your offer. Where Gondola? Dude, I told you. He's sleeping. <laughs> it's nap time for him. He needs, his, he needs his rest. He's been doing this for a year. He's been doing this for a whole year. Year and a half, actually. No, not a year and a half. Like, year and... Gondo sleep. He's sleepy boy right now. He's been uh he's been doing it since like what July I think. Let me see. I think this is just a trash sword. Yeah, it's a trash sword. We don't need it. We can destroy it. Look at that. One durability. Nothing. Destroy sword. We don't need it. Uh, let's see. This is a trash sword. Yeah, that's a trash sword too. We don't need it. We can go into the trash. And then I'm pretty sure this is also trash. Yeah, it's trash as well. Look at these guys. I'm pretty sure that dude had, like, a really good sword. Like, if I decided to just go ahead and kill him, like, definitely would have would have gotten some good out of it. But nah, I got, I got this sword. The, I forget what it's called. The Ab Abashi. Abashi, Ab Abashiri? Abashiri. I got the Abashiri. So we're golden. Look at all those bonus stats it gives me. So good. But yeah, Gondola Sleep. He's sleepy boy. I don't know when he'll come back. Like I said, I don't even know when, he, when he's coming back. And we were the same guy. And then we got Afro Samurai. You know what? Afro Samurai is not something I ever watched. Because it was always on Spike TV. And... I didn't have Spike TV <laughs> growing up, but everyone that I ever talked to at school always said that Afro Samurai was like the coolest shit they've ever seen. And I was like, damn, I wish I had that. I wish I could have watched Afro Samurai. I mean, I guess I could. They probably got it on YouTube now or something. This is a Japanese game. Yeah, this is a Japanese game. Uh, who made this game? Bam Entertainment? Acquire Spike Adventure? 
Yeah. Whose voice was that? Whose footprints are these? But yeah, I got a, I got like three games lined up today. So uh, if you didn't catch what I said earlier, uh, got Way of the Samurai. Uh, because I got three games lined up, I'm going to try to stick to like an hour each for every game. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not 20 minutes into this game. I, I spent like, what, 10 minutes just chatting and stuff like that. Uh, so, like, in, I don't know, <laughs> in like 50 minutes or whatever. Swap this game out to uh, one of the other three games that I got. Like I said, Tenchu and Trapped are the uh, three games I got lined up for today. Uh, I was actually doing a playthrough of Trapped last year, and I got relatively far, I guess. And then after that, I accidentally saved over my file, and I lost all my game, or I lost all my story stat, or you know, gameplay, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I lost my, I lost where I was in the game, so I had to start all over again. And I was like, all right, I'm not playing this game anymore. Yes, we'll do yes. I'm very happy to hear you feel that way. This guy ain't gonna help us in the next fight. Like, never does. No matter what option you, use, no matter what options you pick, he's he's just never gonna help you, even though he's like. He's like, yeah, I'm all about the, I'm all about the way of the samurai, and then he he doesn't do anything. He just sits What's there. The name of this, game? And this is Way of the Samurai One for the PS2. Uh, really, really good game. Uh, <laughs> really, really good game. Uh, it's, it's got. I don't want to say it's. Well, it 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 has permadeath in it. <laughs> And the way that the permadeath works is you make it as far into the story as you can, and then when you die, you just lose everything. Like, you, you lose your, your spot in the story, you lose all your weapons. I think you lose your weapons, I'm not too sure. But um, I'm fairly positive you do. Um, you can have weapons delivered to you. Uh, so if you find any weapons that look like they may help you later on in the story... Uh... Then you can have them transfer over to your other game to help you out at the beginning until like you get to the part where you died, and then like hopefully you can you can learn from your your skills. Or you, you you can learn from your mistakes. Oh yeah, and there's tripping mechanics. So if you walk backwards on something, there we go. I finally got the juggle. Okay, so then we get this guy out of the way, and then this guy wants to join into the fight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna join this guy. Oh, this was made by the people who made Tenchu. Tenchu, really? I didn't know that. There we go. All right, so we got both these guys. Oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh! There we go. All right, let's see if. Okay, so this was just a dull sword, so we can get rid of it. I want to see if, like, any of his henchmen drop any decent swords. Okay, no, they don't drop anything. Okay. Destroy sword. Alright. So, we're gonna just go ahead and surrender to him. Oh, wait, no. I think he actually has to beat your ass. Okay, yeah. No, he, he has to beat your ass, and then... And then you can surrender to him. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna take the hit on that. Let's see. You have a weird hairstyle. Wait, okay, yeah. He's just gonna keep doing that until I stand up. Watch. Or if I get close. But ah, oh, jeez. Why does he get a headbutt? You know what? Like, if I'm not trying to do something, I could actually beat this guy now. I feel like I could, because he's not doing as much damage as he did last time. Oh. Got him on the trip. <laughs> oh no, he kicked me. 
But yeah, I want to I want to join up with this guy so I can help out his his clan. His clan seems pretty cool. Oh jeez. Okay, can I surrender now? I don't remember how to like activate. I think he just like tells you it's like give up. But I'm actually beating his ass despite me just absolutely taking a beating. Oh jeez. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Oh no. Nope. Tank controls. There we go. Oh shoot. Oh god damn it. Wait. Okay, I guess he's not gonna let me surrender this time. What the hell? Yeah, because I think he would have asked me by now. He would have told me to give up. Unless, like, we're past that point. Oh, there it is. Finally. Okay, I apologize. I was like, what is going on right now? Like, shouldn't I be getting an option for it? But it wasn't giving me the option. I guess I had to get my... I guess I had to get my thing. Congo, what's going on? Thank you for the follow. Let's see. Uh, okay, I will. Yeah, so, like, actually surrendering to this guy isn't that bad of an option. Uh, because later on, like, we're, we're going down the same path that I was trying to finish last mo uh, last week. Uh, so, like, th this guy gets super mad about, you know, me surrendering to the guy. He's like, he calls me dishonorable, but then he gets into, like, some weird shit that we gotta go back and bail him out of. That's as far as I made it. He, he, get, he goes out to try to attack the people that attack the bar, or the the restaurant and then he gets into some trouble so then we got to go in and help him out uh and that's that's literally as far as i made it in this game can i take that i need it there we go luckily there's some stuff uh i don't know what happens if you beat him like i said i wasn't trying to i just wanted to get uh i just want to get to like the part in the story where i made it to last time uh, the only issue is that I lost a lot of health, so I'm kind of scavenging for... Oh, there we go. A mushroom. Please don't hurt me. There we go. Okay. So we're, we're pretty solid on food now. Believe it or not, I'm actually doing a lot better than I did last time. Like, last... And then we get an option to save. Yeah, we get an option to save here, but it's really weird because it's like once you save it, it just kicks you back to the main menu. So I think you have to do all this in like one go or something. Yeah, so you save game and exit or continue the game. So it's like this is your only checkpoint. It's got a really it's it's got a really weird save system. Cause you just can't save it anywhere you want to. You gotta It's just like you just gotta get lucky and hope that it offers you a save spot at some point. Otherwise, you just die. You die, and then you come back later. Uh, but this, the way the samurai games have a lot of branching paths. I've only played this one and four. Uh, but if four is, if you go, if, if four is anything to go by, there's there's a lot of branching paths. Uh, I remember playing through. The best one by far. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Kanga? Glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good. Yeah, four is four is really really good. Um, I always heard that way the Samurai Three had the better story, but I like the way that four has. Uh, I, I like I love the characters in four, like the the British people that come in. Those guys are really cool. Jet, what's his name? Jet Jet something. I can't remember. His, his name was like Jet something. He's like the coolest guy. What do you mean I have no business? He told me to come here. Count Jet Jenkins. Yeah, Jet Jenkins! That's his name! This is so cool. That guy's the coolest. The man pivotal for the true ending. Yeah. Oh wait. I don't think I got the true ending. I know I got a bunch of different endings. 
but I don't remember like what endings I got. I've been given a job. There it is. Yeah, that's right. You should at some point. Yeah, I should have. I didn't get all the endings. There, there were still a few branching paths that I didn't know how to get to. Um, but I'm pretty sure I lost my save file in that game, so I need to go back and check it out. If I can find Way of the Samurai too, I'm definitely picking that one up. I was really disappointed when GOG dropped Way of the Samurai games. Because I was, uh, I was expecting, I, I, well, I wasn't expecting, but I wanted to get Way of the Samurai 3 on GOG, and then I go and look at it during one of their sales, and it was just pulled from the store. And, but, yeah, and 4 was also pulled as well, but they're still available on Steam. The true ending takes two playthroughs to set up. Oh, jeez. That's insane. I don't know. So when I do my one per year of WATS4, <laughs> it takes 10 hours. Jeez, dude. Yeah, no. I mean, so, some of those endings just, like, come really abruptly, too. Uh, I think one of my favorite endings is the one where you go to the tournament and you're not fast enough on, like, a selection or you pick the wrong thing. They just dump you into a, a tub of boiling water or oil or something like that. And then the game just ends right there. Hydrate? Uh, yeah, I got hydrate. you on that hydrate. Give me a second. Yeah, when I was to be the first ending you get. It's a ride. It's it's really good because I remember watching Super Best Friends play that. It really does. It's 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 a good setup. Uh, but I remember watching Super Best Friends play Way of the Samurai 4. Uh go away. Go away. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, I was watching Super Best Friends play it like years ago, and this was like after that, after I played it. So I was like, I was like, no, you guys picked the wrong one. And I was like, whatever. They got the, they got the funny ending, and then they never went back for any other endings. They just like stopped it right there. And I was like, dang it. There we go. Kid is hostage. I know I did this one time where I. It was last week that I was playing this game. I thought like right here I could like decide whose side I wanted to be on. And I was like, and I was like, all right, uh, I don't remember what the other dude's name is. Uh, the guy that I was escorting. Oh, jeez, just get hit in the back. The guy that I just like juggled. <laughs> uh, I thought I could attack him inside with these guys, because you know he beat my ass pretty hard last in that last one. They don't give up. And I was like, alright, time to get my revenge. And then attacked him, and it was just like, alright, I'm attacking the other guys, actually. <laughs> it kind of sucked. I, I thought right there would be a pretty good way to, like, branch out from another path. Take him, Master Katara. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. I actually gotta run away. Oh, jeez! Are you kidding me? I dropped the baby! How do I pick it up? <laughs> Okay, he's he's actually not gonna let. Why are they attacking me? Oh man, I'm actually gonna die here because my allies are attacking me too. Oh my god, this this didn't happen to me last time. Okay, let's see. How do you pick up baby? Oh, jeez, this is so bad. Alright, hopefully this doesn't kill me. Okay, there we go. It's not letting me pick up the baby. There we go. Alright, so I'm, I'm in this for the long run now. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hate how slow that is, though. Okay, it's not... It's not square. Let me get the sword out! Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die here, because I got... My own ally hit me in the back. What was that? Funny music.
And now for this mission, I quit. Oh, jeez. They're pretty... Okay, please leave. Please leave. Okay, yes. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Finish the defense. Okay. Oh, but I saved his life. Okay, because last time I was able to escape. Last time I was able to escape, and I think the dude dies, but when I go back, you can't find his sword or his body or anything like that. And I was like, dang, I guess I'll come back and avenge him. But, okay, now we, <laughs> through, like, sheer luck, somehow managed to survive this. Oh, my lord. Okay, let me Ooh. see. A quick, a quick attack on the enemy's main force was impressive. You do good work. This guy looks intimidating, but he's pretty cool. He gave me 50 yen. Kicho, the fool... Oh no, okay, that one went a little too... Once you learn Fujinkyaku, but it's a mid-game move. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wait, no. I didn't mean to pull that out. I think he's got stuff in his house that I can take. I don't remember. I know I went through it last time, and I think I found some stuff. Oh man, the camera angles are... They're not bad, they're just... They just change on you on a dime. Okay. You need 2,400 sword XP to learn it. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet. I, I, I know all, a lot of the good stuff that can help you out, like, later on in the game are just, like... They're, like, way in there. Way mid-game type stuff. Uh, luckily, I was able to find this sword. I don't even remember how I found it. Uh, the Abashir, Abash, Abashiri? I was able to find this one, which gives me really good defense, attack, and health. Uh, so, once I... Once I'm done looking through this house for any type of food, I'm gonna take it to the uh, to the blocks to the blacksmith, so that way I can get the durability uh, upgraded on it, and maybe strengthen it a little bit more. I should have enough for it. Uh, surprisingly, to upgrade swords was fairly cheap. Man, I always wanted a room like this, where it's just like cool samurai meditation room. I don't know. That's what I've always figured it as, like a practice room. I remember when I was taking karate, like what when I was a kid. Uh, once you once you achieved a black belt, they had a room uh, specifically for black belts that looked exactly like that. It was really cool. Uh, so it was kind of like a the main goal, or it wasn't once you got a black belt. It's where everyone that was training to get a black belt uh, trained in, and it was really cool. There we go. Okay, there's nothing in the vase. Okay, I guess I guess I was mistaken. I guess there wasn't any food in there. Uh, but I'm very weary of taking food from, uh, what's it called? Picking up mushrooms, because some of it will just, like, instantly take health from you. But, oh man, that was so cool. I kind of want to get back into uh, some type of martial arts again. Since I got the time for it now. Can't go through door. Please do. <laughs> I know. I need to. Uh, next year I'll definitely be having a little bit more extra cash. So definitely next year. Um, I also want to pick up piano again. I want to. I want to play piano again. I said I was going to do it this year, but the way things kind of turned out, I was like, eh, I don't really have the options or don't really have the the spare money for it right now. So I was like, alright, you know what, we'll, we'll be fine. I, I can wait next year. Next year I'm definitely going to have a lot more a lot more money available to me, to me. But yeah, I was either thinking about going back to that karate place that I used to go to, or uh, maybe picking up MMA. Because I did a little bit of it when I was in the Air Force. Uh, I was a combatives instructor, so doing basic hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff. Oh my god, Cat is bad at video games. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Hope your day's been going good. Uh, I, 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 oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I love it. Um, but yeah, I did, I did some, you know, combatives training and it was a lot of fun. Uh, classes were, were a little weird sometimes, uh, just uh, because of the way that the master sergeants or the flight chiefs wanted it structured. Teach <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was, it, like, not, like... My browser was muted, so I D-I-D-N-T here any audio until now. <laughs> nah, it's okay, it's fine. 
But uh, like I said, glad you can make it. I hope your day's been going good. Um, the how do I explain it? It's a little weird to explain. Uh, it, it's not like traditional uh, inst instructing. You you basically just all gather in a classroom. Not even in a classroom. Oh. We we had something called a shoot house where we did all our. Uh, you know, breaching and clearing, all our uh, active shooter training, stuff like that. And we would just like clear a room and just practice like punches, kicks, uh, some basic holds. here for 30 minutes because I got my own stuff to do, but finally got to say hi and give a follow. Oh yeah, no, no problem. Uh, go, go, good luck with getting all that stuff done. Uh, can be, ho hopefully it's not too, too much work. But yeah, like I said, no problem. Thanks for dropping by. Um, but yeah, we, we, it was just practicing like a couple of holds. It wasn't anything too advanced. Oh no. He spotted me. Okay. Maybe he didn't. Okay. He did. He definitely did. Okay. No, he didn't spot me. <laughs> oh man. I'm going to have to like get really lucky on one of these mushrooms. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, Honestly, I don't even remember a lot of my holds. I remember the the only one that I remember the most is the one where like you like if you're like sitting on top of them, you pin like their arm to the ground and then like you snake your arm underneath their arm and then you just like crank their crank like their entire arm upwards. What is it called? The Americana? I think it was the Americana. That's what it was called. Uh, that's that's like it's the easiest hole to do. And it's like one of my favorite ones just because of how effective it is. Uh, I want to have one of my starts worked on. There we go. Yes, please. Uh, make it tougher. I like it improved. I want it tougher. I think, yeah, and tougher makes it, what do you call, doji mud. Yeah, tougher increases the durability, and I don't know what improved. Unless, unless improved improves the stats, I may go with that one as well. But yeah, let's, let's improve it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, flexibility, sharpness. I don't know what flexibility does. Obviously, sharpness means damage, but maybe flexibility means defense. Nothing in particular. Maybe that's just to cancel it out or something. Uh, we'll go with sharpness. Yeah, only 60 in. Let's go. I got, like, 55. We can upgrade this thing like crazy. I should probably do that for my default sword. Or maybe flexibility is health. I don't know. We'll find out. It's finished. Attack power increased by three. It's decreased by zero. Okay, that's fine. Uh, pay me. I'll pay you. No, I won't pay you. Jeez. Okay, you paid six yen. Uh, like it worked on. Uh, yes, please. I hate how you have to constantly, like, keep pressing circle and X to, like, go through the dialogue options. Uh, we'll do improved, and we'll do flexibility. Alright, we'll see what that does. But yeah, like, teaching combatives was a lot of fun, but I haven't, you know, done any type of combatives training in, like since 2018, because in 2019, that's when I was deployed, so there was... Defense increased by four, attack power decreased by two. That's ah, fine. It's I'm still coming out on a positive for it. Um, so while I was deployed, we didn't really do any type of like combatives training. It was just whatever training you went in with was the training that you went in with. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll do some more work. We'll get a. Uh... You want me to do? Yes, please. All right, there we go. Now we got like a three level three durability. I'm like debating because I'm I'm already off to a bad start here with like how bad I dropped the ball on that last one. So I'm wondering if I should just like have this sword delivered and use it for for my next run. Durability increased by one, and then uh, do upgrades on my other default sword. I nearly picked the wrong option. Uh. I'm leaving. Let me see. Like, if, if I can't find anything to replenish my health, then I may have to. You know what? Actually, no, I may be able to. Oh, jeez. Just... Oh, jeez! <laughs> he spawned right there. 
Oh, God. Okay. You know what? Maybe the food spawns back here in the village. Hopefully. Oh, it does. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're golden. And then there should be some back here. I mean, on the table. There we go. Awesome. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, jeez. Cameras are messing with me right now. Um, but I, I still have all my paperwork. Uh, I still have all my paper, paperwork from when uh, I was doing, like, combative stuff. So I could probably just look at that and just read the instructions. Just like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember this. I remember how to do all that type of stuff. Um, I think, like, one of my favorite memories of doing combatives training was... I had to, uh, I like, obviously when you're doing them, you have to demonstrate them to show people, like, how it's done. And I was like, alright, uh, we're gonna do the rear rear naked choke. And I was like, does anyone want to volunteer? And our flight chief volunteered. And I was like, I was like, uh... <laughs> I was like, are you sure you want to go through this? And he's like, yeah. And, like, I, he's a master chief. He's a master, master, uh, master sergeant. So he... You know, he's, he's been through the ringer and stuff like that. But it was, like, really funny because I was demonstrating it. And, like, at, like I'm not a big guy. like, But, like, the, the amount of pressure required to do a, like, to properly do a rear naked choke, it's actually surprisingly not that much. Um, it's literally just, like, the slightest tap to their, to, like, their throat. And then all of a sudden it's just like, ugh. <laughs> um, so I was demonstrating it. And I was like, all right, like, you don't want to do it like you know, L or like forearm into it. You want to have like your, the in between of your you know your forearm and your bicep like covering his throat. So all you have to do is just kind of like flex, and you'll cut you'll cut off his 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 air passage or his pa you know, uh, blood to his throat or whatever. You'll cut you'll cut off the artery, uh, blood to the artery. Uh, have um have my meal ready. Money I need money. Jeez, it's like such a suspicious one, like option to choose from. I remember when I picked that the first time, I was like, well, what's the reward? And then like the first option is like sleep with me. I was like, oh, no, this is the wrong one. I'm not trying to play this way right now. Uh, but yeah, so I, I did that and and I was like, I, I demonstrated it I was like, because I was like, look, like don't. And like when I did, it, I didn't think I did it that hard, but he just like, went, <coughs> and I was like, I was like, see, like, don't. Don't don't go wild with it, cause like you're you're literally gonna mess them up. And like after I was done explaining everything, uh, flight chief was just like he's like he's like don't do that again. <laughs> I was like yes sir. <laughs> oh man, was, he he got fucked up that night. Not really, it was okay. He was fine, but it was it was really funny. Uh, rear naked chokes when you're practicing them, you've really got to be careful with them because you can you can actually make someone pass out just unintentionally. So always always make sure you're you're feeling for your partner's taps or you you can hear them tapping out. Um, uh, like what? It, it it doesn't even take long for them to black out. It's just like what seven seconds or something of like just having your carotid artery cut off and then it's just black out. <laughs> Uh, I never saw it happen to anyone, because, like I said, everyone was, like, pretty, pretty, uh, what's it called, you know, conscious of what they were doing. I did have this one guy, like, this one captain when I was going through combatives training. Uh, Master Sergeant that was teaching the course was just like, hey, don't, don't do anything that would endanger your, your partner. Like, everything that I've taught you today are the only moves that I want to see you use in this class. And this captain, I don't know what his issue was. Oh, god damn it. Oh, he was standing on the thing. Okay, I went the wrong way. I was wondering who spotted me last time. Uh, because obviously, what he taught, it, you know, the, the holes that he taught us and the and the ways that he taught us how to escape them, it's just like, that's, that's what you're supposed to use. Uh, but this captain, for whatever reason, decided to go, like, all hardcore... And started using like every type of Brazilian jujitsu that he knew to just like mess up anyone that was just like you know fighting him or tr sparring with him. Uh, needless to say, the the master sergeant did not like that, and so he he came through and just like literally messed this guy up. 
and it was it was actually kind of funny. It was very therapeutic watching this guy get thrown around, thinking that he was hot shit with his uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And like mo most of us, never went through any type of combative scores. And he he was legit going hardcore on some people. And like I even told him, I was like, "What the fuck are you doing, dude?" He's like, "You can't talk to me like that." I was like, "Whatever, dude." But yeah, no, nah, there's 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 literally some people in martial arts that will actually try to just ruin it for other people. Uh, I've had my fair share experiences with it. Uh, it happened again actually when I was in college. I was taking a I was taking one of the martial arts courses, and uh, like oh man, the they they weren't even instructors. Oh god damn. They weren't even instructors, they were just the ones that had been there the longest, so, you know, they, they could help teach the classes. Uh, they, they would literally just, like, beat up on people without even giving them uh, constructive criticism. And it was... It was... It was bad. Like, they were just, like, constantly beating up on people, and, like, people were just dropping the classes, because it's like, well, I'm not really learning anything, because... The instructors are just, like, literally just beating up on people and not telling them anything. So, like, yeah freaking sucks I dropped it too because I was uh we were doing like some instruct god dang it this guy's like just clowning on me right now uh cause one of the I, I, was do I was doing like some sparring with one of the one of the guys and I was like supposed to stealth this and we're just going all out now and this guy's just beating me up right now. Villain. No. Oh my god. How is he breaking through my... How's his third attack breaking through my... Through my thing. But anyways, we were, we were going through it and then like he... Like I blocked one of his hits and then he said something and I was like, what? And like I, I thought like we were taking a break right there. Oh, he oh, by the way, if you're doing demos, look at Delta Gal in HIO. One hour oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm not doing demos. I, I already have like some games uh, planned out already. This guy like literally made me drop my durability. I really should have left the sword back. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I, I dropped the course because then he sucker punched me. I was like, man, screw this. Like this, like these people are clowns. Because I, I was I was like, oh, we're 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 in an instruction portion. Maybe he has like some tips for me or something. And then he's just, he just like sucker punches me, and I was like, what the fuck, dude? I, like got really freaking mad and just like dropped that course, dropped it so freaking hard. Oh god damn it! Okay, this sword's about to break. Because this guy won't freaking drop his guard. Oh no, and it starts off with the sword unequipped. Okay, I'm screwed. Alright, let's see. God damn it. And then it cancels out the sword animation when you're trying to put it away. Alright, we're gonna run away and I'm gonna put this sword back. Oh no. Because I don't want to lose the sword. I don't even remember where I got it. Ooh, Chigusa. Nice. Oh, I remember now. You failed to sneak into the residence. Damn it! Okay, so we, we got locked out of that one. Alright, it's fine. We'll get it on the next run. But yeah. Oh no, we gotta come back in shame! I thought I'd be able to talk to them. Alright, I thought I'd be able to go to the thing. Oh no, she hates me now. I see. Oh no, he was killed! It's okay, we only told her half the truth. And they saved the population in the station from the conflict. What conflict? Wait, is that the blacksmith? Who is this guy? I've never seen this guy before. We're, we're learning more. This is the farthest I've made it into the story. But yeah, nah. Like, 
Martial arts can be fun, but if you have like, what, why? I didn't do anything. Oh wait, no, they're they're fighting each other back there. Okay, I was gonna say like I am not ready to get into a fight right now. Ooh. Some food. Uh. Let's see. Uh, plus one. Oh my lord, negative one forty-two for life. For plus one attack? That's that's trash. That's literal trash. Let's see. I wonder if I just like hang back and let them finish each other off if I can just go in and pick up some swords. You know, we'll come back for it. <laughs> Cause I need to I, I need to drop some stuff off. We're gonna keep playing. I wonder if this is a constant save spot. But yeah, uh, what's going on, Jumbo? Glad you can make it. Uh, I forgot. To, I I don't think I I don't think I uh, greeted you. Uh, glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good, dude. Uh, continue the game. Yeah, we're gonna continue because I just want to go to the blacksmith and upgrade my sword again. Oh no, it's daytime. It's fine. All those games looking a little janky during the day. Let's see. Equip sword. I wonder if there's a place where you can sell them. Uh, we're going to destroy this one. Okay. We'll upgrade this one a little more. For the sword. Yes, please. What do you want me to do? Make it tougher. To the end, please. Please wait a moment. All right. But yeah, uh, the other games that I got lined up are uh, Tenchu, Fatal Shadows, and Trapped. Uh, I remember playing one Tenchu game on the PS2 when I was a kid. But I don't remember which one it was. It might have been Fatal Shadows, or it could have actually been Wrath of Heaven. I think it was Wrath of Heaven was the other one that was on the PS2. Uh, but I can't remember... What do you want me to do? Make it tougher. I need, like, level three. Oh, wait. Alright. You know what? We may go one more. We may go one more. For four. And then I can go in and, like, mess up these guys. But yeah, I don't remember. I remember playing a lot of Tenchu Z on the Xbox 360. Tenchu Z is a lot of fun. It's, it's not, like, a traditional Tenchu game. I mean, it kind of is, but it, it's more stylized. Uh... Worked on, improved, yes. All right, what do you want me to do? Improved. Sharpness. Yes. Okay. Hopefully after dying on this one. All right, and then I'll use the sword to like beat up some people over here, and hopefully they have any. Hopefully they have better stuff than a dull sword. Increase by four. Defense decreased by zero. Awesome. Ooh, I almost left without paying. Uh, I'm leaving. See ya. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see. Here we go. A lone guy that we can mess up. Okay, I just gotta be careful about how I use my strong attacks. Because, uh, I can just absolute. High ground didn't help him. Let's see if I can go for the charge. Oh, jeez! There we go. There we go, got him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I do have. Uh, we're gonna trash this one. Nah, we're not gonna trash this one. I'm gonna need it. So rose and that's that's not too bad. Uh, the the loss on life isn't as 
or the the loss on defense isn't that good, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, we'll destroy the Chuyoto. Chuyo? Chuyoto? I need to practice my Japanese. I really do. I was practicing for a little bit, like at the beginning of the year, and then after a while, I just I just dropped off it. Not a good thing. God dang it. Okay, 50. There we go. Yeah, it's like legit not a good thing. I should, I should like actually keep up on that. Um, I feel like especially for V, well, maybe not especially for VTubing, but I, I feel like it definitely helps if you know some stuff. There we go. One yen, we got it. And we got another one of the same swords. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's slightly better. It's got like way more durability. And I don't have, I mean, the only difference is that you don't get as much life. But you get an attack for it. Uh, we'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it for, wait, how much yen do I have? I have 20 yen, so I can probably get like two more upgrades. There's some other dudes fighting here, weren't there? Okay, no, I guess not. Maybe I was mistaken. But we're going to roll with this sword. Nah. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We're going to roll with this sword. Nah. I'll, I'll, I'll take the hit on defense for uh, more health. I just got to be careful. I just got to upgrade this one a little bit. I'm trying to play this a little smart right now, because I've, I've already screwed up how I wanted to play this, uh, mainly because of how the stealth mission turned out. Um, I don't think I was supposed to go through the main gate uh, by the looks of it. I think I was just supposed to go around it. Uh, wait, we need to have the right sword equipped so that we, yeah, here we go. Equip sword, we'll have this one delivered. So that way I can use it on my next playthrough when I die on this one. I uh, you have it on on you now? Yes, please. Five yen. Okay, it's worth it. All right, let's go. I'm sure that I'll have it delivered. I'll pay you. Uh. I'm leaving. All right. Let's uh, let's equip this one. Oh, it's already equipped. Okay. And then we'll just have like the uh, the defense worked on this one. Hey, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yes, please. Uh, make it tougher. Yes. Oh man, there's there's like legit a lot of planning that goes <laughs> into playing this game. It's absolutely insane. And I kind of like it because that you're constantly having that threat of just if you die, you have to start all over again. And I am determined to get the path that I want done. <laughs> so I'm I'm literally planning for the future, but it's what it's what's really cool about this game. Because also the further you make it, the more stuff you unlock. I guess to kind of help you out in the beginning. I mean, the the stuff that I've unlocked so far hasn't really been helpful. All it is is just been like some outfits and I think some tutorial stuff, which is also pretty cool. <laughs> they freaking lock tutorials out on you. Seems interesting. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Uh, let's see, want my sword worked on? Yeah, no, it's 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 a really cool it's a really cool interesting uh, game design. Uh, I want it improved. Uh, we'll get flexibility so we can see if we can get rid of the that huge like debuff to my defense uh but i may end up losing attack power for it but if that's the case depending how much i lose I, it should only be like a negative two to my attack which isn't too bad because that'll be like five then it'll be at five uh defense increased by three increase oh okay sweet okay uh never mind i'm leaving all right Let's see, so what, it was increased by 3, so that's probably like, what, 11 now? Oh, 6, jeez. Okay. 
Oh, man. And I only have 7 yen, so I only have enough for like one more upgrade and I don't want to lose any more attack. Alright, so this will be fine. It's better than what it was at. Let's see, you got anything, buddy? No, he's got nothing. Oh, what's going on, uh, Vice? Glad you can make it. I hope your day's been going good. I've been sitting here playing uh, Way of the Samurai. This is, this is really a good game. I really do like it. It's it's definitely a lot of fun. Uh, I do like honestly. I will say that Way of the Samurai Four is maybe a little bit easier, but it may just be easy to me because I'm I'm familiar with it. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, but I, I think Way of the Samurai 4 is probably just easier for me because it's the game that I've played through the most. And I, I remember a fair amount of stuff that happened in that game. I still remember a fair amount of stuff that happened in that game. Uh, but no, like, it's like, no, your, your first playthroughs are like any Way of the Samurai, at least from what I've noticed for like at least 1 and 4. Like, you're, you're just going to get beat. It doesn't matter. The later games probably have really good quality of life changes. Uh, they may. All right, we gotta mess these guys up. All right. Hey, wait! Shut up! You're in my way. Oh, jeez, dude! You just walked into me. Okay. 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 Now nah, he he actually ran away. This dude, like, I literally move out of his way, and he follows me, and then bumps into me, and has the gall to tell me I'm in his way. You know, what? let's follow these guys. I wonder if they. I wonder if he can actually follow them somewhere. They're probably heading to their rivals' You're in place. My way, sir. You're in my way, sir. Trailers. Oh man, I miss. I miss SWAT four. I really do want to play SWAT four again. I want to play. Uh, uh, Ready or not. I want to play that again. Uh, maybe next month. Maybe next month we get we gotta we gotta work on that again. We gotta get the gotta get the whole crew together for that one. As uh, that that would definitely be a lot of fun to play again. Yeah, he's 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 ready to go. Vice is ready to go. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Uh, that's that's kind of the thing with way of the samurai 4 is that it's a little bit more clear in what you're supposed to be doing right now i feel like i'm kind of just like bumbling my way through some stuff uh i'm pretty sure i already like screwed everything okay here we go we found a story beat um no actually never mind we didn't uh way of the samurai 4 has like an actual timeline timeline of events that you can follow to help you get uh get endings and paths that you want to go through uh, I don't know if Way the Samurai has it. The first one has it, at least. Oh, yo, it's this guy. Here we go. And waiting for you, Gondo. You may know this already, but Murasaki was killed yesterday. Who? Yeah, there we must make up for his loss. It's Murasaki. Look at Amos Warriors, Will. Mission. They have come. Maybe these are the bad guys, because they're siding with that one dude that I fought in the beginning. Look at these dudes! They got freaking blindfolds on. You're dead to me. Jeez. And send them to hell. Oh, man, this guy's so cool. Both these guys are cool. You can't hate any of them. Annihilate the enemies at the railroad. <laughs> Seeing you again. All right, I want that dude sword. Can I have it? It looks cool. All right, let me get some water. I'm getting thirsty again. Jeez. Oh, oh, I got my own little. <laughs> Yo, we're working with this dude. Hell yeah! If I would have killed him, he wouldn't be here. This dude's like absolutely wild. Okay, the only problem is, is that I I'm limited on my move set right now. Oh 
Oh man, that's always such a good trope when uh when you're in, when you have to side with the enemy for like one fight against a greater threat. It's always a good one. Oh jeez. I need to get better at parrying again. I think I'm gonna play this game some more. Hello there. I think I'm gonna play this more offline on like a separate file. Ah, I misread that one. Answer the call. We'll never answer the call. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There we go. Okay, I accidentally picked up a dull sword, which I don't need. Answer what call? There's no phone ringing! I can't believe Coyote's skitzing out right now. He's hearing phones. You know what? Maybe my phone did vibrate. Did it? I think it did. It might have, actually. <laughs> I think I just got a notification from my Discord. I heard it. Oh, they heard it. Okay. No, I didn't even I didn't even hear it or feel it. Gondo has yet to answer his text messages. I never answer text messages. Oh, there's some radishes here. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, I know, cause my Cause my frickin' mic just picks up everything. <laughs> That's how you know Audio Technica is a really good one. It picks up everything. Also, I think I have, may have messed with my gain setting a little bit, so it may be a little bit louder. Oh no! I watched some dude fight these guys because I wanted to look to see if anyone else was streaming this game. And, uh, oh man, these guys look brutal. But the guy that fought. Let's see. Uh, nope. Dull sword. Okay, I think that's all these guys have is just dull swords. Oh no! Oh no. He's keeping me away from the health items. This isn't good. Oh god damn it. I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm so screwed. Okay, it's fine. I had my sword transferred over, so it's fine. It's fine. It's good. We'll see how far I made it this time. Only 30? Inexperienced? For 12 kills? And only 30? That's ridiculous. I know I should have gotten something better than an inexperienced. Ah, oh, man. It's okay. Like I said, I, 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 made, I made precautions. I took precautions... And I didn't even unlock anything for it. But yeah, that's Way of the Samurai for you. I should just play on easy. <laughs> this game's real brutal. Let's see. Let's see what weapons. Okay, cool. So, uh, Abashiri is back in. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, next fight, next time should go a little bit smoother, hopefully. Uh... I'm basically just going to keep playing this game every Sunday until I get an in, an ending that I want. But I think I'm going to pop in... Uh, I don't know if I should pop in Trapped next or if I should pop in Tenchu. We'll do Trapped. We'll do Trapped. I want to do Trapped. Uh, I've been wanting to play that, that type of game for a while. There you go. You can get hit with the nostalgia. I am playing this on, like, real hard drive. Or hardware. Hard drive. Hardware. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, this is like the third PS2 that I've gone through. Yeah, third one, honestly. Uh, my original PS2 that I had died out. Like, last year? Like, legit died out. I, I tried to plug it in, and it just, it did not work at all. I was, I was so upset. Because, like, that's, that's my OG PS2. That's the PS2 that my dad got me when I was, like... <laughs> freaking whatever 12 years old or something and then it was just like it was dead and it was like no i can't believe it how could technology fail me after all these years it can't it shouldn't but it did it sucks it really does because it had like that cool oh, okay hold on i i, I it, let me see if i can find this real quick i want to see if i can find it 
Uh, let's see, desktop. Here we go, here we go. Um, let me see if I can find this thing real quick. It was like it was like this really cool like PS2 skin, PS2 skin, Biohazard. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this. Hopefully, nothing suspicious pops up. Uh, wait, is that it? No, that's not it. Let's see. Place. Let's try PlayStation Two. If I can't find it, then I'm just gonna have to look for it on. Uh, I'm just gonna have to take a picture of it later. Ah, they don't have it anymore. This sucks. Hello, just Crystal Xbox. <laughs> Let's frickin' go, dude. Dang, they don't have it up here anymore. Wait, was that it? No, that's not it. Ah, oh, they don't have it anymore. This sucks. I, I used to be able to find this all the time. I, I remember seeing this one a lot, like at stores, and I really wanted to get it. Yeah, this is looking familiar. Hold up. Let's let's check this place. Let me let me just make sure this isn't a suspicious website. Okay. This this don't look like a suspicious website. Alright, we're we're solid here. Uh let's see. PS2 systems. Here we go. Ah, oh, please have one. Please have one, because I really want to buy one again. Yo, we got the chief. Let's go. Solid colors. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a picture of it and like show y'all next week or something, or post it on uh, Twitter. But awesome. I can't find it. I can't find it anymore. This sucks. Because it's like the coolest skin, and I only say it's cool because it's like it's the skin that I've had for like the longest time. So like whenever I see just like a naked PS2, it just throws me off now. And I was like, damn, used to have like a kick-ass skin on my PS2. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna find it. I have to look for it some other time. Okay, it's fine. Let's get back to the gaming. Uh, I think they're gonna give us the the story anyways. At the uh. Whenever I start like the actual game up, uh, but if you've never played Deception, I highly recommend those games. Uh, Deception Three is by far like one of the coolest games I've ever played. Uh, I think the only thing is that the story is—I don't want to say censored, but you know, translated poorly. So it sounds a little weird. And then there's also things that just kind of like pop up out of nowhere. At least that's what I remember happening when I was playing the game. It was like things would just like pop up out of nowhere, and it's like I don't know what's going on anymore. We're gonna have to do a new game because I was playing this game last year on stream, and I ended up like deleting my save file or saving over my save file and lost everything. Uh, let me check options real quick. I want to make sure there's like stuff that I can set up. Okay, no, there's literally nothing I can set up. Trap hit camera. We'll leave that on. Uh, bun configuration. Okay, I, I thought there'd be like some like screen settings that I could set up, but I guess not. It's fine. Story mode. Let's go. But yeah, no, this this game's so cool. It's it's basically just playing mouse trap. <laughs> it's a very intricate mouse trap. Oh man. You know what? I need to buy... Speaking of, like, rebuying PS2s, I need to buy another Xbox 360. This one's... It's still good, but I don't think the fan is working anymore, honestly. I feel like the fan is kind of... I don't think the fan works at all, because every time I feel it, I don't feel air coming from it. It just feels hot. So I, I think I need to get, like, a new 360. That's why I've been installing games onto it, onto the 360, so that way it won't like overheat itself but uh what's it called uh, oh yeah no but the other reason why i need a 360 is because the ethernet cable to, uh, the ethernet port doesn't work on it and neither does the wi-fi but i don't know if it's because they've already shut down the the thing oh dude i i i have an og xbox i already have that covered don't don't worry about that that's covered uh, speaking of OGs, OG Xbox, that may be the theme, well, not a theme, but that may be what I'm doing next month, uh, giving the PS2 a break, because I've been playing it pretty heavily this month, uh, so maybe, maybe November is the month of Xbox. I meant me. No, oh, you meant you, okay. 
But yeah, nah, d d if, if you can find one, dude, good luck. <laughs> I remember finding mine at a Goodwill, like, basically brand new, dude. Like, th this Xbox that I picked up was basically brand new. Like, no scratches on it, no, no weird prints or grime all over it. Just, like, must have been fresh out of the box, and they just, never, they just threw the box out. What's up, Alora? Or Catalina, I mean. She's got our back. She's 100%. Ride or die. Oh, shit. You don't recognize... Hell no. Look at you. Fucking bitch. The king, no! Damn. What? Bullshit. Framing me for something. あれは Grains. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I really want to go back and play Way of the Samurai 4. I think I still have it installed, too. Ah, oh, jeez. I also need to get a... Speaking of getting an Xbox 360, actually, I need to get a new SSD. And SSDs are not cheap. I need to get a new, like... I need a 2 terabyte SSD. Like, 1 terabyte is not enough for me, honestly. I... I I need to get one <laughs> because I I've been I've I've had this hard drive for years now and it's really starting to slow down. Hell yeah, Grain's got our back. Let's go. Yeah. Oh man, there's so much stuff I need to get. <laughs> I mean, I don't need it right away. I'm, it's not like I'm playing. It's not like I have any Xbox 360 games planned. And the hard drive is still holding out. Like it's not breaking or anything. It's not having any discrete errors or any type of errors of that kind. It's just really slow. Alan. No, he believes, he believes the queen. But yeah, nah, this game's super cool. It's not even the story that I, that I like. I mean, the story's alright. It's a, uh, what do you call it? It's the gameplay. Uh, honestly though, I think the gameplay for, like, most people may be hit or miss. Because you, you have to really be into just, like, setting up elaborate tra traps to kill people. You have to be really into that. And as you've seen, I've been playing a lot of Manhunt. So, it's, uh... <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is just my type of game. I th you know what? I think Woozle would like this game. Uh, this is Trapped on the PS2. Uh, not the... has no correlation to the band with the one-hit wonder. <laughs> um... But no, this, uh, Trapped on the PS2, it was a sequel slash spiritual successor to the game series called Deception. Um, which is really weird, because there was nothing wrong with Deception, but they decided to name this game Trapped instead of Deception uh, 4. Yeah, because Deception 3 was on the PS1, and I played Deception 3 when I was deployed, and Deception 3 is a legit good game. It's really, really good. Um... 
The story is a little hit or miss, though, and I blame translation errors on that, honestly. And it also feels like part of the game was cut out. Uh, but it's it's whatever, really. Uh, you know, what are you going to do about it now? Uh, but anyways, uh, so they made Deception 1, 2, and 3 on the PS1, I believe. And then... And then what was it? What was it again? Oh yeah, Trapped uh, on the PS2. And then they finally made Deception 4 on the PS3. And PS4. And Vita. Uh, and the Vita version and the PS4 version both had the, the expansion built into it. I don't know if the expansion ever made it to the PS3. Um, I think I ended up selling my PS... No, I think I have my PS3 copy of Deception. Maybe I sold it. But I definitely have the PS4 version, and for whatever reason, my PS4 copy, or at least the case, got destroyed, and I don't know how that happened. Um, so I kind of just have it like loose disc, and I've been trying to find a case for Deception 4 for like the longest time now, and I just, I can't find one. It kind of sucks. Uh, so let's see, trap out. I don't think this matters right now. Yeah, er er everything that we have is already equipped. So, mission start. Let's go. Uh, but, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, I mean, Deception 4 for the PS4 and Vita is basically like two games in one, which is really cool. Uh, I never finished Deception 4, though. Uh, maybe that should be a game that I put on the docket or whatever. Because I, it, it, it's a game that I've been wanting to play, and I always start it, and then I just always end up stopping because I get distracted with other things going on, so I never get to finish it. And like I said, Deception 4 also has the Nightmare Princess. I think it's Nightmare Princess uh, expansion to it, and you play as like an entirely different cast of characters, I think. Or you play as a different uh, princess in that one, but I think the same goddesses kind of follow you around and stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. Or Deception 4 is. Uh, there's definitely a lot more traps and there's a lot more setup to it. But honestly, I think 3 is probably my favorite one. It's got the best aesthetic. Uh, especially for a PS1 game. It's really good. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's there's a bunch of PS1 games that are still really good out there. But I guess... Uh, I guess, like, kind of looking at it, you wouldn't expect it to be that way. And Brandon... Hey, we finally got branded. Let's go. But no, I, I was absolutely in love with this game as a kid. I just never finished it because I never upgraded any of the traps. So by the time that I got to, I think it was like chapter 14, I was just like completely screwed. Because all I did was just buy traps. I didn't upgrade any of them, so I wasn't dealing as much damage as I should have been doing. Or I don't even remember what I did. I don't think it was upgrading traps. I think I just made the wrong traps and yeah, just like completely screwed myself out of that. Like, kind of, I, I wouldn't even say softlocked myself. It was it was definitely doable. It was just really, really hard. Alan, what's going on? Glad you make it. Sacrifice a soul. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, you think she's gonna let me live? Hell no. She literally pinned a murder on me. You know what? Maybe, maybe the princess did do it. Maybe it was planned all along. Who knows? I don't know. I've never actually made it that far into the game to figure out like what the exact plan was. Here we go. We get a quick tutorial. But yeah, no. The 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 setups that you can do for this are like absolutely wild. Press button that correlates with the thing. Yeah. So like blue is X, red is circle, and I think green is triangle. And I think square brings up your menu. We don't. And your life ends here. Now sacrifice a soul to me. All right, let's go. Uh, so let's see, what do we got? Yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> so silly. Such a silly game. Oh yeah, and this is like the worst part is like their dying breaths are like kind of tied together to like side stories that you can do. And it's heartbreaking. Because like some of them like you, you wanted them to escape because you're just like, no, just leave. And like some of them will escape if you drop their, I think it's if you drop their health down to a certain level. You can let them escape, but I don't think it has any any bearing to any type of endings. I think it's just all like, like oh they escape, so you don't get a you don't get as many credits or a, a better score at the end. But uh, I like this game. I like this game a lot. Killed him. Oh no! You killed him, Weska, with your own dirty hands. I love that quote from Resident Evil. Such a good one. <laughs> okay, I think this is the one actually lets me set up. Do do some setup here. Uh, it's probably not going to be too intricate or too crazy, just because of the the area that I'm working in. But once once you get further into the game, it actually opens up and you get like other hazards. Environmental hazards that you can mess with as well. Oh no. What do we do? Uh, I think that replenishes health. Let's see. What was it? Square? No, it's not square. Circle. Oh, it's circle. Okay. So let's see. We got... Rock. Wash pan. Okay, so we got, we got some stuff we can work with. I think I got an idea. Uh, we'll do bear trap at the base. No. Bear trap here, because we're going to lead him up around. And then we'll have a mega rock crush him. And then... No, I got an idea. I got it. I got it. Okay, so we need the bear trap here. The magnet wall here? No. We can move the we can move the bear trap here. And then we can move the mega rock right here to crush him. So X square triangle. Let's see, where is he at? There should be a lock on. X square. Oh no, it's not gonna suck him in. This sucks. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, so that doesn't work. That that sucks. All right. Uh, I'll just do the arrow slit. No, nope, wrong one. There we go. All right, that sucked. I thought I'd be able to like pull him out from the thing and then hit him. But it's fine. We got other ways. But yeah, no, the the gameplay for this is like just super easy, but it's it's a lot of fun. Like I said, I There he is. Oh. 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 Got him. Maybe. Oh shit. Oh, I got him. Let's go. I forgot to move the uh the rock. It's fine. But yeah, nah. It's it's like I said, it's a, it's a silly game. It's not that serious. I I always have fun when I play this game. Uh, mainly because I like working out different ways that you can just trap people into weird. Uh, like there there there's people out there that I've I've seen gameplay for, and they just know how to make just traps that just go like in in a circle. It's insane. The amount of planning that they pull off for some of these traps, it's really cool. Like, like the, these guys are easy now, but later on in the game you actually have to fight bosses. And uh, the further you get into the game, the more uh, the more health pool uh, some of these enemies have. The bigger health pool that some of these enemies have. So you end up having to, you know, just move between rooms and stuff like that. But I've seen people just do, like, crazy amount of damage just off of, like, three traps. Uh, this is trapped. 
閉ざされた門が解放されつつあるの Like the game's literally called Trapped.、Uh, T R A P T. And that's not like the, one, the band with the one hit wonder, Headstrong. Headstrong. Take you on. I can't remember the rest of the words. Headstrong to take on anyone. I know that you're all wrong. Headstrong. We're headstrong. There you go. That's as much as I remember. Oh no! Oh, I thought my PS2 froze. I was like, no, his hands are shaky. It's a freeze frame. There we go. Yeah, I got some decent stuff out of it. And then you can check out the death files and stuff like that. Then you just like. Head removed by a pendulum, splattered by a mega rock. <laughs> It's basically just like an obituary. But yeah, you use like Warl. Warl? Warl. Warl. Warl? To buy stuff.、Uh, but yeah, we, we can go back and do uh, uh, side stories, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you get anything out of side stories. I don't remember if you get. I think you just get more money out of it. I don't think you get any like special items. Uh, but we're gonna do the side story. Begin side story.、Uh, you get a side story after every main mission that you complete, so just think of the game but doubled.、Um, maybe I should have. Which is, I, I don't know.、Uh, like, you, you'd figure the side story would involve like, characters that you dealt with in the previous one. Uh, but it's not usually the case. They just. It, it, it's just a. I guess it's more of a challenge mode. Uh, but I need the money. And I think actually the reason why I restarted my save file now that I'm thinking about it is because I missed the first side story. I just didn't do it. Because I thought side story was like an extra menu that you could just go through.、Uh, oh no, the childhood friend! We gotta kill him now. That's so gentle a girl as you could never kill the king. In the meantime, you wait here. Oh no! Okay, nah, we're cool. Uh, thank you. Oh, wait, this is completely different. Okay, I've never done this one. Alright, so may maybe there's like alternate endings to this game. Let's freaking go. I want to protect his. I. He's gonna marry her fiance. <laughs> Oh,、uh, it's one of those things. It's like, oh, when we grow up, we're gonna get married type stuff. Go back to those times. Yeah. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. Our mama sang us back to sleep, but now we're stressed out. It has no sense of his true duty. Indeed, siding with the princess in this type of. Oh no! It's no use being here. Okay, let's see. Killer has planned. Wait, what? The vice count's killer? They're headed to the queen. We're certain to be made lords. Oh no! They're backstabbing him! Dogs, you have no right to the title of knights. Okay, so we gotta deal with these guys. These guys may be like some of the tougher enemies that I have to deal with.、Um, I don't know if I have any other places open right now, but we'll find out. I may still be locked to the main room right now. Oh, jeez, those freaking health bars.、Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have access to any other rooms. Okay, no, that room's locked. And I think this may be locked. Yeah, this is locked. Okay. So let's see. We'll, uh. Let's see. How do we want to deal with these guys? I don't know. Can I. Okay, yeah, we can rotate. So you get a, you get a pretty good feeling of stuff here. So, usually the best thing you can do. It's not that eff effective.、Uh, but it's pretty cool.、Uh, if I'm putting it right, you can do one right here. 
And then you can use an arrow slit to hit that right there. But then I have nothing for a triangle. Uh, you know what? Actually, I may be able to pull this off if I'm good enough. Uh, yeah. No, I think it, I think it needs to go back one. I think it needs to go here. Because I think it launches them to... Does it? I don't know anymore. We're going to try it right here. I think it only launches them one. There we go. Alright. So the plan is hit him with the pendulum, trap him with the bear trap, and then hit him with the... And then hit him with the, uh, the thing that falls. There we go. We got it. Got it! <laughs> oh man. Okay, where's the other guy? That was so good. I haven't been able to pull that off. Like, I, I always have trouble pulling that one off, but somehow managed to get it done this time. Let's freaking go. Uh, where's the other guy? Okay, here we go. So, I can just hit him with... Oh no, he actually walked around it. Jeez. Got him! <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's armored up, so the bear the bear trap has no effect. Uh, what was it again? There we go. Uh, so since bear trap has no effect, we'll do a magnet wall. We'll try to get him hit with the magnet wall, and I gotta wait for the pendulum to be finished. Okay, there we go. Uh, pendulum, change it to the rock. We'll just have it roll down here. No, we got that. Blast. You know what? I got an idea. Alright, we're gonna do something really goofy. I'm and I'm hoping I can pull it off. Let's see. That's because I know, like, weight also plays into this. Oh, man. Oh, no. It didn't work. He may actually be too heavy for me to do this properly. There we go. We got him. Oh, I launched him too far, though. Damn it, it didn't work out. I'm trash at this game. It launched him way too far. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Alright, we gotta figure out another way to deal with this guy. I could just do classic springboard. Let me see. The bomb blast is too is too weird. Uh it, it can it can send him in any direction, so you'd actually have to plan it. That's why I like the spring uh the spring floor better. Uh, let's see. Arrow slit, wall push. Wall push is actually really good. Uh, oh, wait. I think I can do this. Um, here. Wall push into that. Mega rock here. Yeah, Mega Rock here. And can I set a bomb? No, you can't. Okay. Because I need to trap him here. Wash pan. Maybe this will work. Because the wash pan is supposed. No. I don't know, honestly. I don't know if this will actually work. No, he's he's walking around my traps. He's too smart. Okay, that didn't work. God damn it. Okay, oh, no, wait, but that will work, actually. Oh my god. This dude's too smart. 
There we go. You can like crush them in between stuff. It's really cool. I'm pretty sure you do like more damage for that that way too. But hi oh yeah, man, this place is huge. Wait, I do have access to another area. What the hell? Where? Oh, that was the wrong thing. Uh, is it down here? There it is. Okay. I knew I had access to another area. Just like, couldn't figure out where it was. Here we go. Uh, let's see. What do we have to work with here? Uh, not a lot, honestly. But we do have a better corner here that I can work with, so... Let's... I don't remember if... That's what it messes with right there. I don't remember what messes with what, exactly. I think this is it. Okay, I, th I think this is it. Oh, I can't. Wait, what? Oh, it's a door. So how do I hit this then? I think I gotta have to. I think I have to hit it myself. Oh, you know what? I can set it right here. There we go. It's just gonna take a while to set up. Uh, let's see. Oh wait. Controls? No, not controls. Room devices. Here we go. Uh, Forty damage ignores defense. Okay. Okay. I think I know what to do. I'm gonna try something. Springboard into the fire. And then arrow slit in here. And drop a rock on him. Assuming he lands like over it. I don't know if he will or not. That's the only thing. Come on, buddy. Let's see. Oh, going. No, he bounced back. Ah, uh, okay. At least I know how to do this now. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. So we'll do the arrow slit here. But I can't drop anything on him because I have something already there. You know what? I may be able to time this. Okay, let's see. Oh no, he's he's probably like legit gonna die. Okay, no, he's he's coming back. Okay, I may be able to time this, but once you hit him with like one trap in one area, they're they're oh no, he's oh he's running away. This bastard, Take care of yourself now. <laughs> I thought he was like coming for me. Okay, whatever, it's fine. That's 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 how like some of them will escape though, and I don't get as much damage. All right, I I don't get as many points for it, but I don't think it really affects anything. Alright, and then we can go ahead and save. And then now we're on to mission two. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go use a quick restroom break real quick. So I will be right back, guys. Just give me a minute. You don't have to go anywhere. It'll, like, literally take like a second. I'm just gonna leave it on, like, the main menu because I'm, like, not even gonna be gone for that long. To
I'm back again. But yeah, no. Had I known that was an exit, I I would have stopped him like right then and there. <laughs> Uh, but I didn't I didn't realize that was an exit uh, trap elements. Let's see if we can get anything uh, equip traps make traps Ooh, Iron ball, I think that's the upgrade uh, Rolling bomb guilty lance buzzsaw Floor smash. Oh launches even further. Okay. Ooh the torture chamber. Let's go. We need that one. We need that key. Uh, 1,200? Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's nothing. There we go. Now we can now we can go into the cha torture chamber. Oh, wait, how much? Oh, these are, like, all expensive. Okay. Um, covers head and blinds enemy. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to save my money, because we're, we're only on stage two, so saving my money for, like, stuff for up ahead will be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and save it. But no, uh, because like the the torture chamber is literally going to be like the my favorite spot to go to. It's always my favorite spot every time I get to like this part. Great information. Hold up, I want to see this. Oh no, it's just intruder date. Oh yeah, that's right. You can come here and like check out uh, intruders and stuff like that. But it only shows you for like the main story, I think. No, this is for uh, the enemies that are like coming up to you now. That's right. Okay. No, there there should be a spot where you can see like everyone that you've killed and everyone that's ran away. Uh, player data, map data. Hey, let's check out player data. Three defeated. Three trap complete. Survival. There's survival mode. I don't remember survival. Unless it was the main menu, I just never tried it. Maybe it's something that you get at the end of the game. Uh, but yeah. Now let's go ahead and mission start it. Mission start. Let's go. Oh, man. Get that stretch in real quick. Been shrimping it up a little bit lately. That's getting dedicated to you, then. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. But yeah, no, nah, these people are cool. <laughs> and then I have to kill them. Uh, it's actually kind of funny because, like, some of them show up with, like, the, the weirdest, uh, like, backstories. It's literally, like, the, the hero backstory. And then you just, like, kill them like they're nothing. Oh, that's her name, Rachel. Oh no, they killed her. The detestable fiend's mark, which is engraved into the body of those possessed by the fiend, using it, Alora defeats her pursuers. But just who is this fiend who spoke to Alora in the mansion? We'll find that out later. I don't even think I ever found it out. I don't remember, honestly. But yeah, honestly, I, I kind of want to play... I kind of want to play Deception 3. We'll probably go back in time. Uh, I gotta... Oh, gee! Oh! It's a sensor. Oh, what? Oh, she's got an arrow. That's right. I forgot. Oh, wait. We can go to the torture chamber. Let's go. It's just this way, I think. I think it's this way. I know some places unlock kind of naturally as you go through the game, and I think uh, other places you kind of have to like buy the key for it. Is this it? Is this torture chamber? I don't think this is torture chamber. This don't look like the torture chamber. I got scammed. It's the other way, which means I have to wait. I have to like lure them around here. But you know what? We can do funny stuff here. We can, uh, assuming I can do this properly. We'll uh, bear trap him here. Bear trap him there. Push that there. And then assuming it pushes them all the way down. I don't know if it'll push them to the wall or not. I feel like it would. You know what? You can check information, I think. No, not that. 
trap settings. Okay. Here it is. Uh, room devices. Here we go. Killer cart. Okay, I thought it would show you where they can go. Slams against enemy against the wall. Okay, so we'll take them to the wall. Hopefully. Uh, 50 damage. But that's only if I can get them, like, stuck right there. Enemies against the walls. Okay. I, that should be it. Oh, uh, you know what I should have done? I should have set a, uh, I should have set a floor trap up there and launched them onto the stairs. Okay. I just need him to walk into this. He's not going to. He wants to. There we go. Oh, wait, where the hell did that boulder come from? Yeah, taken out by a boulder. I don't even know where it came from. It might have been something else that I activated, or maybe I stepped on it. I might have stepped on a floor trap or something and just screwed myself. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, we can replenish health, though. Just gotta make my way back. We'll go to... We'll go to the... Ne oh, you know what? I think they hit that. Is that what it was? No, that's completely something different. Okay. Uh, where's my way up? This is, like, the last thing I want to be in is a long corridor with an archer. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Try to get my way to the torture, torture chamber. It's the, the torture chamber is where you can actually have a lot of fun with uh, with a lot of different combos and setups. There's supposed to be something there. I don't remember how to activate it, though. Wait, where is it at? Oh, it's this way. Okay. Okay, so she's still back there, which is fine. Uh, you, you can easily outrun most enemies, which gives you pretty good time to get things set up. Here we go. Torture chamber. Okay. So, let's see if we can pull this off. Bear trap here. Pendulum. No. Bear trap needs to go further. Right there. No. I don't remember this. I don't remember this setup anymore. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Bring into it. Uh, and then Mega Rock on top of them. Right there. And I have nothing for a wall, unfortunately. Okay. But I have to be careful, otherwise I'll end up walking into it myself. And the thing with an archer is is like they'll they'll keep their distance. So you kind of have to maneuver them around into the trap that you want to do. Uh, more than likely I won't even be able to get this trap uh, this trap set up. Cuz she's just going to keep her distance. Yeah, she's just going to keep her distance. And they kind of follow you in a path. Oh no, she was like a pixel off of it. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Just one step closer! Oh, jeez! Okay, I'm screwed. I died. Yep, I died. Ooh, I somehow... Oh, no, there he goes. Okay, I'm dead. I'm like legit dead. What am I stuck on?! Okay, yeah, I'm dead. God damn it. I stepped on, like, a floor trap. Okay, whatever, it's fine. I knew I should have grabbed that health item. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. And then it brings me down, and I'm still trapped on it. Maybe that's what I should have done. I didn't even see that there. But no, like, it, it catches me on a pixel, but it won't catch her on a pixel. Awesome. Alright. Whatever, at least I know where the trap room is. 
where the torture chamber is. So we can just head there right away. Let's see. I don't even know how that boulder hit me the last time. I don't know where that thing came from because it wasn't my boulder. Okay, so don't step on that. Let's see. Let's... There we go. Okay. So, L2... L2 faces forward and R2 tracks. I keep pressing start. Uh, let's see. Nah, that's gonna launch him over. You know what? I know what it is. I think this should be it. Wall push here. And then when it brings them back down, Mega Rock. There. Okay. I think that'll work. There we go. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, nah, that's fine. Okay. Maybe I can get her on... with just like a random rock throw. Ah, oh, dude, it's okay. Nah, she... Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, that sucks. Let's see... I might be able to lure her into it, into the electric chair. It's gonna be a little rough though. Pendulum. I wanna say it'll launch her that far. And we'll just get... Oh wait, I might be able to pull this off. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off. There we go. We'll take it anyways. There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. No, I I'm I'm getting my traps mixed up because I know in 4 it has an it has an electrical chair. And you can launch them into it, and when they get launched into it, they'll sit in it, and then it ejects them, so then you can do like some cool stuff afterwards. There you go. That's how you get that one done. Easy enough, I guess. <laughs> See what happens when you don't like step into like weird traps? <laughs> Who are you? Oh no, a thief. Couldn't be. I don't know. Like, it's it's really weird when they introduce characters and they just don't really do anything, I guess, gameplay-wise. They're just, like, literal characters that just get brought up, and it's like, oh, okay, they, they're cool. I hope I get to see them again, and then you don't see them again for a while. It's really weird. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't really play these games for the story. It's purely for the gameplay. Oh no, my phone! I actually felt it vibrate that time. I'm putting my phone on my bed now. That way, it, that way you can't hear the vibrate vibrations anymore.
テルツオク様また貴様に働いてもらわねばならぬ何なりと Is that dude's name? Flanagan? Like, that's the thing, is like, some of the subtitles just like appear and then disappear so freaking quick. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see. So, cut down by pendulum and shocked to death by electricity. Awesome. And then we can do another side story and get even more money. And hopefully, I don't let them get, a, get away this time. Like I said, I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's like any like weird alternate endings to this game. I think they're all just you know they're all there. It's it's just like one ending, uh, which kind of sucks because I feel like you could have had uh, endings tied to how many kills you got and how many people you let run away. Maybe there is. I don't know. Like I'd, I'd have to look into it. It'd be really cool if there was. I feel like that's a game that that's like an actual gameplay mechanic. Oh no, there's no voice acting anymore. They're protected by expensive explosive traps. Let me know if you find anything. Oh no, it's Alan, but not our Alan that we knew. Is this another area? What is this area? I'm not familiar with it. Oh, we got a new area unlocked. Let's go. Uh, unfortunately, it put me with my back to the wall, so I can't use it. Where's the door? Okay, we're out of here. I don't feel comfortable being in this area and being in this room right now. Uh, let's see. Should I go for the classic chandelier thing? We're gonna do the classic chandelier. Let's see, assuming I can pull this off again. Uh, so what we wanna do is bear trap. I think it's right here. Yeah, bear trap here. Pendulum into it. Is that how I did it? Yeah, I think this is how I did it. And then we can't really do anything. I'm like almost positive you can like break those walls or break these pillars. Room devices. Yeah, you can. Okay. I I, I think it's just the wall crush thing doesn't have like it, it needs to overlap with the pillar. I think that's what it needs to do. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, I set this up completely wrong. I set it up completely wrong anyways. Uh, I'm not supposed to have a wall push there. I'm supposed to have the uh, arrow hit that. Oh man, I can't believe that. They don't want to... There we go. Finally. Hopefully that doesn't hit me. Got him. Okay, let's go. Alright, we got one guy. Now we gotta figure out another way to deal with the other guy. Uh, let's see. I really want to drop a pillar on someone. Uh, let's see. You know what, let's set this dude on fire. We'll set him on fire and we'll do something funny. Let's see. Okay, so he... I think what we want to do is springboard. Yeah, springboard. Into that. And drop a rock on him. Assuming he bounces back that way, which I hope he does. And then, let's see, magnet wall? No. Arrow push. 
No, that won't reach him. Hit him with the arrow. Okay, but I need him to, like, actually step on the springboard this time. Which I think he might. No, he's not! Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, man. This game sometimes. Oh, he, he doesn't want to step on it. He, come on, buddy. Step on it. I'm planning this all out. Oh, my. He's literally walking around it now. He knows. Okay, maybe he'll get stupid. There we go. Got him. I only crushed his leg, so. Got him! Holy crap! That's somehow I sniped him with it. That was so sick. I seriously thought I I was gonna hit myself because I was like, oh no, it's not where I said it. I don't know where it is anymore. Ah, oh, that was so sick. Alright, managed to pull it off flawlessly. Yeah, good stuff. That value their lives more than money. Rip. It's okay. Let's see, what do we got? Let's go ahead and save it. Let's get that save in real quick. Oh, man. I feel like a... I would say I feel like I'm doing better, but I literally died on, like, the second stage, like a baby. Uh, let's see. But we did get a lot of money. So let's see. Let's see if there's anything we can make, anything cool. Uh, Belfry key. Uh, we'll, we'll save on that. That's, like, 5,000, and then it's, like, 9,000 for the gallery key. So I'm assuming there's, like, some good stuff. Um, yeah, we don't need that one. Uh, let's get... Let's see, a rolling bomb. I wonder how that works. Explodes on contact. I'm assuming you set it up against a wall or something and it like pushes it out. Uh, let's get the let's get the guilty lance. We'll get that. Shit, I didn't even see how much it cost. That's what it should have done. Eh, it's fine. I'm sure I got enough for it. I'm sure I got enough for it and like some other traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're we're fine. Triple arrow fires. Three arrows are fired. Iron ball. How much is that? Two thousand. Jeez. Okay, now nah, we're 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 only buying one. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to. Uh, let's see. So let's get rid of the. Let's get rid of the magnet wall. I. For the. trap there we go for the guilty lance always a fan of the guilty lances uh, let's see okay so we got that set up uh, we're not gonna save it we'll just we'll just do the mission and then we'll we'll go from there ただ、噂では魔人の手下がいて、恐ろしい方法で殺されるとか。怖いならとっとと帰るんだな。やるよ。俺もやる。I guess the side stories don't have a uh, voice acting. お前の力にはかなうまい。So thirsty. I don't know what it is today. I don't know why, but like a liter of water has just not been satisfying to me. Like I, I go through like a liter of water now in like half a day and it's so weird. I need to get like that gallon of water thing set up again because that's what I was originally doing. Uh, and I have like a gallon of water set set aside and I just refill like my liter 
And I actually just found in my uh, my canteen, my little military canteen. I don't know how much is in there. Um, it may be like a liter, actually, now that I think about it. I don't know. I'd have to like fill it up and like see. At least I'll have like two liters of water with me, but I gotta clean it up. Is she the fiend? Oh no. We'll never know now. Uh, various expectations about among those who would attempt to capture Alora, but from what is, but just what is the fiend mark they speak of? There is only there is one who watches all the cal calmly. The mysterious thief Ada. Ada, wait, Ada, don't go. Ah, uh, Ada. What are her intents? Alora, Alora finds herself being swallowed up in the complex spiral of her fate. Oh no. Oh man, my audio just like went to hell right there. Basking the beauty of my muscles. Look at this guy. Oh jeez. Wait, is it only two? I thought there were three guys. Uh, we may have to deal with these guys in the torture chamber. At least Douglas. Douglas specifically. Uh, that dude's got way too much health. So. Luckily, the torture chamber is, is just what we need. This way, this way, I think it's this way. Oh, I don't get access to the other one. Okay, I guess that was just like a, a side room area or something. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna try to get Douglas the same way that I got the other guy. Uh, bear trap. No. Pendulum? No, bear trap, pendulum, uh, and there's really nothing that I can do for a wall. Wait, maybe? No, wall won't help. Uh, pendulum. Yeah, pendulum. I guess I can use the wall, or the, the wall push. Just on the off chance he, you know, doesn't want to walk into the bear trap. No. Where's Douglas? You're not the guy I want to deal with. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here's Douglas. He's just slow, that's all. No, he didn't want to show up. Alright, just don't step on that. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with Bold. Bolide? Bolid? Oh my god, it missed him. Oh, but it, it brought him back this way. Awesome. Okay, whatever. He's he's done for. I don't have to deal with him anymore. Okay. Oh my god, are you serious? Is it not lined up? Are you serious that this isn't lined up? It's lined up, so how did it miss him? Are you kidding me? Oh, he's too heavy for that. Okay. Oh, jeez, I nearly... Jeez, I nearly stepped on it again. Okay, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I get him, like, right there. There we go. Okay, that was too far. Damn it. How did I set it up last time? Did I seriously just only use a springboard? Uh, is there a way that you can just, like, clear it out? Okay, we'll just move that here. Pendulum launched him way too far. How did I get him last time? You know what? I got a better idea. We'll, uh... We'll springboard him from this side. I think that would be fine. I don't know, it doesn't tell you. Uh, it's it's kind of what I like about 4 better. Is, uh, they tell you, like, how far it's gonna launch him. Or if you drop a wash pan or a vase on him, like, where they'll walk to and stuff like that. 
uh, let's see, Mega Rock. Yeah, okay, you know, we're, we're just gonna go for the springboard. Oh no, there's, there's another guy. Damn it, Aladdin. Not right now. Like, Douglas is where I need him. There we go. Okay, hopefully... God damn it, are you serious? <laughs> This is not going the way that I want it right now. Okay, springboard back. Jeez, let me move. There we go. All right. Oh my god, it didn't stay. There we go. Okay, hopefully that's it. It wasn't ready! I hate this. There we go. We got him. Oh my god, Douglas is too freaking heavy! Are you serious? He's too heavy to do anything to him. Where's Douglas at? I'd like to track Douglas because he's the one that I gotta worry about the most. Here we go. God, this is awful. I hate this. Didn't hit anyone. Awesome. Come on. Walk on the floor trap, Aladdin. Oh no, he's immune to floor traps. God damn it. Okay, my whole plan is like falling apart right now. Because Douglas is too fat. And Aladdin is just dodgy okay kind of wishing I kept the uh, the wall magnet okay so let's see hit him with that okay so this room is technically useless to me all right so we're gonna set up somewhere else because I, I can't do any of the stuff that I want to do here because Aladdin will just jump over my floor traps, and Douglas is literally too heavy to be pushed into anything. So let's see. This may work better. Okay, so that... Mm. You know what? I wonder if he can... Nah... Nope, he's... Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, he's literally walking around everything. I hate this dude so much. God damn it, I hit myself. Whatever, it's fine. I managed to hit everyone, at least. And it didn't do much damage to me, so it's fine. Oh, man. But now I gotta worry about Aladdin running away. Oh, yeah. Old lady beat me. Oh no, he loves his wife. I guess, uh, that's kind of like the sad thing about this game. Okay, I swear you better not be running. There we go. We got him. Yeah, Bomb Blast is, like, way too unpredictable. Oh my god, there's more! Are you serious? Rip. I can't believe he died a virgin. Hannah. All right, where's she at? Oh, she's, she's coming for us. Okay. All right, who are we dealing with? All right, we know she's coming through here, so... Let's see. Springboard her. Down the stairs. I don't know how far she'll fly, though. If she'll go all the way down the stairs or what. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop a rock. 
And assuming she makes it all the way down, uh, there. All right, hopefully, there we go, we got it. Wait, where's she at? Oh, she's at the bottom. Oh! <laughs> the wife comes to deal with us. Oh, that was the wrong one. It's fine. I thought she was coming up this way. I don't know why I thought she was coming down that way. Whatever, it's fine. She's still coming. Oh no, I missed my money. Uh, can I activate? How close do I need to be? Okay. There we go. Right, that should take care of her. There we go. Easy. Okay, that better be it. <laughs> but no, that's it's it's kind of cool. I like I like doing that. All right, I, I I like how that plays out, where you kill someone and then someone comes out for revenge. So like, chances are, if I ever just if I just let that dude go, would not have had to deal with her. Cause I had to deal with like five people just now. I don't know why, but I'm getting like super hungry now. This kind of sucks because I wanted to stream a little longer, but at the rate I'm getting hungry, I may have to cut the stream soon. I don't want to though, but I am getting like super hungry. And I ate, like I ate breakfast. I figure I wouldn't be like as hungry as I uh, as I was now, but oh man! All right, I gotta. I think I may have to cut stream. I never get around to playing the three games that I want to play. I always end up playing like Way of the Samurai and like another game. But uh, I am going to practice Way of the Samurai <laughs> offline. Because I, I want to get better at the game and I want to be able to get to like the ending that I want to do. So I'm thinking I may have to just like practice, <laughs> practice different routes or something like that on a separate save file. I'm going to get like so many memory cards right now that I can just like swap it between them and stuff. So it doesn't matter. But, uh, I don't know. Eh, these these Saturday streams are always just kind of random. You never know what you're going to do. I never know what I'm going to do. Let's see. Who up right now? You know, how long has this dude been streaming? Uh, maybe. Let's see. What do we got? Oh wait, is it throwing me into gameplay already? What? Nah, apparently I'm not leaving yet. <laughs> I gotta do, uh, I gotta do one more. Because it just like tossed me right into some gameplay. Let's freaking go. Alright, hopefully it's only these guys I gotta deal with. Alright, you know what? They got metal on, so I think I can take them to the, uh, I think I can deal with them fairly quickly in the, uh, uh, in the torture chamber. Because there is, like, elemental stuff going on in this game. Uh, let's see. Spring. There. Drop it. And then... Guilty Lance. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can get them to go the way I want them to go. And hopefully they all get here at the same time. <laughs> and then hopefully it doesn't throw me into any more secret gameplay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got him. Okay, we got one of them. Alright, that was super quick. Alright, let's go. Let's get uh let's get another guy. Let's get this guy. Hopefully it's only these two. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Oh no, there's another guy. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Taking these guys out real quick. Fucking Elvin. <laughs> 
Alright, let's see. I'm trying to get rid of these guys like quickly and efficiently. What is this game? Hey, what's going on, Mailbox? Uh, this is uh, Trapped on the PS2. For the PS2. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get this guy. Uh, springboard. Right here. No. Why aren't there any traps? I just play traps, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just like set him up. I set that dude up so hard. Uh, so we'll do that. You know what? I think this will take him take him out. No traps, my guy. And what do you mean? I just set a trap. Okay. Oh my god, there's more! More people are piling in right now. I hate these people. I hate them so much. Alright. Alright, come on. Oh my god, it's a magic guy. Ah, uh, this is bad. And a thief. Is that a thief? That's a freaking thief. I don't want to deal with a thief right now. This is the last guy I wanted to deal with. Oh my god. Got him. No! Launched him! How did I get that guy on the thing last time? Okay. So let's see. Let's see. We'll, uh... May no, I can't wall push him off, unfortunately. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. No. There's a rock right there. And a... No. You know what? Maybe that'll work. Okay, so... Oh my god. This guy's just dodging all my stuff. Okay. Got him. Unfortunately, it wasn't where I needed him. Got them both. Oh no, it's coming for me! Yes! Okay. Unfortunately, it didn't finish him off. It didn't finish the other guy off, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. He's got to come downstairs if he wants to, uh, if he wants to leave here. So... We're going to... We're going to bear trap him down here. Oh no. Okay. Wall push? No, we'll, we'll do the, the Guilty Lance. We'll get all our bases covered down here, so... If he tries to leave. Oh shoot, that's right, he's he's a mage. Got him. Let's go. We got this guy. Easy. I lose. You lose. Oh no! Sharon! Why? Another one. Was he a trap? No, he wasn't. He got killed by one though. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, as soon as she walks through the door, we're gonna hit her with the bear trap. And then we're gonna drop a rock on her. But before we do all that, arrow slit. Nope. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Come on, make a rock! Get her! Got her. <laughs> uh, this game's so goofy. I love it. Like I said, there, there's, there's people out there that... And they can just like loop these traps in a circle. And it's absolutely insane how they do it too. There we go, We've got all five of them. Let's go. Get in that body count up.
What is the story behind this game? Uh, so if princess here one. was, uh, the princess here was framed for the murder of her dad, and the queen pinned it on her. Like it's it's not even like her her mom or anything like that. It's like stepmom. So now we, since we're on the run, we ran into a mansion and the mansion was cursed. Uh, and anyone that, or the first person that came in here was cursed with the demons, with the fiend's arm or something like that. And technically a slave to the fiend to, uh, what's it called? To constantly kill people to satisfy the fiend with souls and stuff like that. Finnegan. What a dumb name. There we go, finally. I can't believe they did kill the witch there you go what's going on desert what glad you can make play? it uh trapped right now very very good game uh you know what i got an i got enough in me to do a side story we can do a side story because i also got a lot of money too so let's see for a game called trap there is a lack of traps it's literally nothing but traps in this game dude is there actually it's, a witch? it's trapped t-r-a-p-t is there an actual witch? Uh, I mean, there's warlocks. <laughs> the The last dude that I just killed, he literally threw a fireball at me. And I was like, all right. <laughs> dude wants to toss fireballs. Let's go. Uh, but not, you know what? I can do I can do a side story. We'll do a side story. Did I save it? I did save it. Okay. I was like, wait, did I just save it? It's like, yeah. I threw totally a fireball did. at you so you kebabbed his ass. Yep. I literally caught him in a bear trap, and then I chunked a giant rock on him. Amelie. Are you princess? No. Go somewhere else, lady. Ah, oh, why would you admit to it? You stole Jay's heart. It's all your fault. Oh no! Like, you know what? The, the character backstories in this game are, like, so much better than the actual story. If not for you... Okay, let's see. Um, we're dealing with an archer, so we're gonna have to go to a different room to get all this set up. Maybe if you didn't have a shit personality, Amile, you would have had Jai's heart. Exactly. Free fire. Yay. But yeah, no, uh, archers are kind of the hardest to deal with, but they're not impossible. So we're gonna we're gonna set something up here. Let's see. I don't think there's a way that I can set her up for like one of these traps. But you know what? Maybe if the bomb blast hits in a way that I want it to, we could launch her onto that platform right there. Toss her into the lava. Uh, but nah, there's there's something better than lava here. I think this is the safest thing. I think this is the safest bet. Bear trap, push her in, and then hopefully, let's see, and then pendulum swinger as soon as she gets up. Okay, there we go. We just need it, need her to get close to it, because uh, archers archers will keep their distance from you. You you can walk up to them, but like you can't do anything to them. You have no, like, primary means of attack other than just, like, setting traps. Oh no, I activated it at the wrong time. Yeah, I activated it at the wrong time. It's fine. We still got her. Oh, there you go. Now you'll never be with Jai. Still filleted her ass. <laughs> and then without hatred. Hey, and that was the only one too. <laughs> That's funny. It's like literally just her side story and literally kill her for it. Because apparently I NTR'd her or something like that. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, maybe she wasn't such a shitty character. Had a shitty personality. She'd be with Jai. I don't think I've met Jai yet. To know if PS1 or PS2 is my favorite console. <laughs> her she was more than a oh player. no, it's not her fault. Please understand. Let's see if there's any new traps that I can buy. 
No, that's equip traps. Uh, we need to buy some. Or make some. Let's see. What do we got? We got the iron ball. We got 6,000. <laughs> you can't buy a stall flow. It's not that game. It's not that kind of game. It's not one of those suspicious games. Uh, what does? Vase looks... No, it doesn't. It looks like a vase. Frickin' get your... Get your heads out of the gutter. You know, frickin' weirdos. Oh! Wait. Mailbox, how was the how was the shooting range? You said you went. How did that go? Was it an outdoor one or was it an indoor one? Coyote. <laughs> you guys are uh, you guys are acting very suspicious right now. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot that I can outdoor buy. One, really cheap as well. Ooh, nice. Five bucks per car. Ooh, not too bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, I need to go to the shooting range, but honestly, I think I'll just go next next month. Uh, I do want to fire that 357 Magnum that I got. No range master, so I can rapid fire. Hell yeah, dude! Range masters are always like assholes. They really are. I hate them so much. I was like, oh, don't, don't touch your gun. Oh, it's like, dude, I'm literally loading ammo right now. Calm your tits. He's like, oh no, you, you, you can't, you can't load your ammo right now. It's like, oh my god, dude, like, chill the fuck out. Oh, I hate them so much. It's honestly why I prefer to. Brass, gunpowder, and a bodily liquid. Nice. Range day was good. Nice. No, that's why I prefer to go to like indoor ranges, just because I can, I can do whatever I want. I basically can do whatever I want on at an indoor range, because like I don't have to worry about people like walking onto the thing. Fire a musket. Ah, uh, that's pretty sick, dude. Ah, oh, man, it's so cool that you got a musket. I want a musket, but honestly, I, I, I couldn't do it, dude. That's that's too much maintenance work for me. I'm just like, nah, just, just, uh, j just hook me up, dude. Just, it's fun, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet. No, I bet it is. Um, just like, just g g give me the quick load. That's, that's all I want, really. <laughs> I don't want to do anything crazy. I just want to, I just want to, like, load up the magazine and then fire away. Fire away to my heart's content. Let's see. But yeah, no, other than that, like, you know, that sounds pretty cool. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, you said you also had your Glock, too, with you. Glock. This guy fires a Glock. Laugh at him. The indoor no. range I used to go to had the worst of both worlds. Really? Master along with barely passable ventilation. Really? Holy crap. Like, all the indoor ranges I've ever been to have been, like, really cool. Like, even the range master at the last indoor range that I went to, he was, like, super chill. Like, he was like, hey, man, uh, your time's up. And I was like, and, like, we just asked him, I was like, hey, like, do you mind if we just get, like, one mag off? And he was like, yeah, man, go go for it. And I was like, sweet, dude. Because, like, we, we, we were in the middle of, like, like, we, we had just, like, loaded the mag in and, like, was, like, getting ready to go. And he's just like, hey, like, you know, time's up. And I was like, you mind if we just get this last mag in? And he was like, yeah, man, go for it. And I was like, all right, sweet. <laughs> so we got that mag off and then we were just like, all right, we'll clean up and then we'll leave. Uh, dude was super chill and, uh. Outdoor one is top tier, though literally went out there and fired to my heart's content. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's also the cool thing. No, you no know what? Time as well, so it's when I want to leave. You know what? I think the indoor range that I used to go to in Colorado didn't have a time limit. I don't even think they had a range master. Because I don't remember ever seeing one. I just remember being there for like two hours and just like shooting and like no one ever came to tell me like, hey, it's time to go or anything like that. It was pretty cool. I wish I could go back to that one, but they had like a monthly membership thing, and that honestly was just like way too expensive. It really was, because uh, I was doing like a monthly membership, and I wasn't even going like half the time. Like I only went like a couple of times out of the month, but I mean, I guess it was still cheaper than just like going in, just like putting down a bunch of money to you know fire and I stuff. Fired my Tupperware clock, my John Lennon stopper, my Ooh. musket, a hunting rifle, my AR. And my shotgun. Nice, nice, nice. That's pretty cool. But yeah, no, that's that's that sounds really cool. Uh, I think if I go back to the range, what I want to do is I want to fire. Range has an annual pass for fifty a year. That's really, really good, dude. That's so much better than what like my range was charging. I don't even remember what they were charging. I think it was like a hundred dollars a year or something like that. 
I think it might have been more. No, I think it was like $50 a month or something. I think it was $30 a month, if I remember right. I want to say it was $30 a month. And I wasn't even going every month, so I was just wasting money on it. And then I, I just canceled my membership because I wasn't I wasn't going. I wasn't doing anything. Um And then I just started going to just like, ah, eh, you know, I'll just I'll just pay like for my time here and then that's it. But I think with the uh the membership goal, or I think with the membership subscription, I think I think you had unlimited uh time at the range. So you didn't have to buy for like an hour that's or anything like that. Range was. Only good thing they had was discounts on guns to buy and you can rent guns. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's kinda how it is at this range that I'm at or that that I'm that I plan on going to now. Or at least that's making my range. They have like rentals and stuff like that. But I don't think they had any memberships. I think it's just you go there, you pay for your time and that's it. Uh but they, they also do veterans discounts, so I got to I got to shoot fairly Even cheap. With the membership, you could only shoot a max of an hour and a half before you gotta pay more. Really? That's lame, dude. Membership doesn't give you unlimited access to the range is super lame. Like, like, Sorry come on, man. You off BTW. Nah, you're cool, dude. That's that's the nature of TTS. But yeah, no, that's that's what sucks about that. That's got that's gotta suck, dude. You you pay a membership and then you don't even get unlimited time at the range. Nah, and then you gotta pay more after an hour. It's just like, nah, dude. I mean, honestly, like an hour is all I really need. Just go there. That that's my that's my therapy session. Just go to the range, shoot guns, clear my mind, and it's like, oh, I'm good. I'm solid. Real? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, the outdoor range I went to in Colorado, they they had targets there for you to shoot. Ranges they even had pumpkins, dude. Now. It was so cool. Ranges best therapy. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the the outdoor range that I went to in Colorado, they had uh they had pumpkins filled with explosives that you could shoot, and it was so cool. Uh, my buddy did it, and then after that, it, he like he, like everyone was making fun of him. They were like, dude, like if you miss on the first shot, you you know you got to pay it back, right? Or you know you get you got to pay for another. My musket actually knocked my target off the post, so I want to see what it would do. Uh, that kind of sucks though, because then like once the target's off post, and it's just like, what are you supposed to shoot at? You got to wait for everyone to finish shooting before you can go out there. That's what I hate about out outdoor ranges, dude. Honestly, that's that's like the only thing that I hate is that you got to go at the pace of the range master. So by the time you're you're like, all right, because like if you're just trying to zero in a scope, you know. You gotta wait for everyone else to finish before you can go out there and check it out again. So you're just like, well, just sitting here waiting so that way I can go check to see if my scope's zeroed in. Uh, nah, but I gotta do that for my CZ Scorpion. I gotta do that for my CZ Scorpion next time. I gotta get that thing zeroed in soon. Ew, man. What's going on, Panda? Glad you can make it. Hope your day's been going good. We're, uh, we're finishing off this last hour, like, what, this last hour? La next eight minutes with, like, Zatsudan stuff? Uh, cause I'm just, I'm just chilling, dude. I, oh my god. Panda, why would you do this? Oh, I, I found some more, uh, 3D, uh, 3D, 3D objects to throw. Oh, jeez, why? This dude just comes in and assaults me. I can't believe he'd do this. What a shame. Okay, we're gonna save it. <laughs> posture check? Yeah, give me a second. I'll get you on that posture check. Let me just get the save in. There we go. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's hit y'all with some nostalgia. But, uh, what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. I wanna say I got it sighted in for 200 yards now. Nice, nice, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, what was I talk? Oh yeah, that's right. I need to get my CZ sighted in now because it's uh, Actually, it's a little jacked up. Ammo for the axis before I could be certain. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, because when I went to go shoot my uh, my CZ with Arthur and Leon, uh, I don't know what happened, but the sight ended up getting unzeroed or right, the the site I, I have a red dot site for it i don't remember what it's called i don't think it's a whole no 
I forgot what it's called. I took it off my CZ because it was like, what was the point of keeping it on there if the if the red dot's not sighted anymore? So I took it off and then started a. And then I like I said, I I I've been meaning to go it's back so and get it. No, it's not that. It's not that. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, but for whatever reason, like midway through, I was firing, and then all of a sudden, all my shots were like down into the left, and I was like, "What is going on with this thing? Like, why is it doing that now?" So. I need to get it recited, but like by the time that I learned that it was, you know, that that it needed to be recited, uh, our time at the range was already up, and I didn't feel like paying for like another hour to get it sighted. I I didn't want to pay for like an hour, and just like you know get it sighted within like ten minutes. So I was just like, nah, it's not worth it. We'll just I'll come back another time, and I'll just get it sighted myself. Um. I probably could sight it myself if I had like a laser pointer, just stick it into the barrel and then just like line it up with the red dot. That's kind of how I sighted my scope. Uh, it worked fairly decently, but it was still a little off. I bought a uh, I bought a laser pointer and just stuck it into the barrel of my Marlin 336, <laughs> and then just like you know lined up the sights that way, lined up the scope that way. Uh, quick and dirty. It worked all right until I found out that the that the scope on the my Marlin was actually kind of fucked to begin with, so no amount of sighting was going to fix it. Um, I even took it to a guy to like look at it. Like he he didn't charge me anything. He just looked at it. And he's like, "Yeah, dude, like the glass in there's knocked out. It's going to be like it's going to be like a hundred dollars to get it sighted properly." And I was just like, "Nah, dude. Like I'm I'm fine. I'd rather not spend a hundred dollars when I can just buy a new scope for a hundred dollars. But it's it's whatever." Uh, they have lasers that look like casings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got a few of them. Uh, I have a 9mm one. That's actually what I used, I think, the first time. Uh, but I don't know where that, where that sighting thing went. Because I, I had the 9mm because I, I wasn't taking it to the range to zero it in. I actually had it zeroed in, like, way before. Uh, way before I even took it shooting. Oh, no. What are the dogs barking at? It's probably someone getting home or something. Or it's probably like literally someone walking their dog right now. Man. Hold up. Barking at yeah. I'm coming for your CZ. Nah. It's fine. Hold on. Let me go see what. Let me go see what they're barking at. Give me a second. British ass robot pronouncing Z wrong. Oh my god, it was literally just an Amazon guy dropping some stuff off. You figured they'd be used to that by now. It's just like, dogs, come on. Amazon guy's here like, like once every other week. You should be used to this by now. You should know he's just coming here to drop something off and leaving. Uh, British ass robot pronouncing the Z wrong. Yeah, I know. These... Uh, dogs I, don't like change. They don't. They really don't. Uh, but what was I going to say? Oh yeah, no, no, the... the the freaking British guy thing, like that thing won't go away. I've, I've said I've changed it to like so many different voices and they all work. But whenever I try to get the British female to work, it just defaults it to male. And whenever I set the British male, it just it's just British male guy. So it's, I don't know what it is. I've already tried clearing out the browser history. I thought it may have been a cache thing or a cache thing, but it that wasn't it. I don't know get what involved. it is. I'll get involved. Jeez. As a dude licker, he's fine. Yeah, nah. I want I want my British I want my British robot lady back. Uh, but we're stuck with this guy for now because all the other voices sound like shit. They really do. Um, I guess I could try using another internet browser. Uh, Opera doesn't work, but maybe like Internet Explorer will or something. I don't know. I'd have like I I'd really have to like just start running some tests. I actually got to get some stuff set up. Um. I actually got to get some stuff set up for streams. Uh, I got to get the new 3D models uh, set in for the, the throwing. Uh, the throwing redeems. I got to get that set up. I got to get... Uh, 
I got the schedule made, but I want to look through it again. Texas, Segundo can fire my musket of red tape for me. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Let's freaking go. Uh, oh, but I do have the schedule set up for uh, for next week. Um, depending how it looks, because yeah. I think... Yeah, because I think the Modern Warfare Early Access is supposed to come out next week. Like, sometime next week. Uh, sometime next week, I'll be playing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 campaign. I don't know when, because they didn't announce it. They just said, like, play it up to a week early. So that could literally either be between, like, the 17th and, like, the 27th. So somewhere around that time, I'll be playing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare campaign. I may just do it on a midnight stream, honestly. Um, Chai, what's going on? No, it's just the campaign. It's not the multiplayer, so you don't gotta worry. You don't gotta worry about spending your points just yet. Um, but uh, for Monday tomorrow, I'll be playing Resident Evil Two again, the remake. Uh, we'll see if we can finish up Leon's story. Yeah, I know. I feel you, Chai. It's okay. <laughs> it's only till the twenty eighth. You just got until the twenty eighth, and then you can spend all your points and screw up my campaign or not my campaign, my multiplayer games. Uh, but let me go ahead and pull up my schedule, uh, just to make sure that I'm doing it right. Because I, I, I picked a movie. Wave the multiplayer. <laughs> Let's see, uh, no, it's not there. No, it's not there. get CC for your game just to spawn Mr. <laughs> X multiple times. Go for it, dude. Wait, you can't do that. That's not how it works, uh, for Resident Evil. It's only for Call of Duty, not Resident Evil. I don't know what you're talking about, Mailbox. <laughs> you're literally making stuff up now. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Resident Evil 2 is on Monday, so we'll be doing that. There's no crowd control for Resident Evil 2. There's only crowd control for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, uh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, crowd control. Um, what was it? Wednesday, I'm going to be doing some Gundam Heavy Arm stuff. Uh, so there'll be more gunpla on Wednesday. You're uh, only part of my schizophrenia. Let me see. Made me take my medicine. I'm working on the legs next. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get the left and right legs done. And then if there's time, maybe do the weapons. If not, I'll just do the weapons off stream. And then I'll post a picture about it in the Discord and the Twitter. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be Wednesday, gunpla. Friday is going to be manhunt. Uh, which I may have to power through and try to finish all in one go. If not, uh, Sunday may be the continuation of Manhunt. Uh, next Sunday may be the continuation because Call of Duty comes out on the 28th. So I need to have that slot uh, free for streaming uh, Call of Duty. And then uh, Saturday in the Discord, we'll be watching The Boneyard, which isn't the H.P. Lovecraft movie I was looking for. But it is a movie, nonetheless, that I've been interested in watching for the longest time. Uh, I don't, I don't remember how I came across this movie. I think I came across it because of a, uh, what do you call it? Ah, oh, what do you call it? Um, like I, I remember seeing a GIF, and it had like really good practical effects, and I was like, "Yo, like this looks so sick! What is this movie?" And then I found it. It was called The Boneyard, and then I booted it up well I, I didn't boot it up but i downloaded the movie and i've had it for like so long i just never got around to watching it and i just completely forgot about it until i was like is this the hp lovecraft movie i was looking for and then i click on it and i was like okay this isn't it but what is this movie and i i skipped like further ahead into the movie and i saw the practical effects for like one of the monsters and i was like this is that movie that i've been meaning to watch for like 20 years not not like 20 years but it's been a while that i've been meaning to watch uh, so we'll be watching the Boneyard on Saturday, and like I said, if, uh, depending how, like, any Call of Duty news comes out, I may have to finish up Manhunt on Sunday. So, maybe no Way of the Samurai, but we'll definitely be getting through Manhunt on Sunday. We're, we're definitely gonna finish Manhunt next week, because I need Friday cleared. Uh, I don't want to spend, like, two or three hours clearing out the rest of Manhunt. And then going into Modern Warfare. I'd rather just go straight into Modern Warfare and have Manhunt cleared. And then honestly, I kind of already have like the schedule planned out. Like what what is what's after? Okay, so then after that we got like 
one more week until it's like Halloween. I'm still planning something for Halloween. I haven't, I haven't fully decided yet, but I'm kind of thinking of just doing like some horror v- VR games, uh, playing some horror games in VR for Halloween. I think that'd be pretty cool or, uh, or something. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. That's if I can find some horror games. I'm waiting for like the Halloween sale IRL to go up. Horror house, but you hunt the paid actors. <laughs> yeah, let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Um, what's it called? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I got some ideas that I want to do. I just haven't fully committed to them just yet. Uh, like, like what? Yeah, I, I got I got like a ghost story idea that I want to do, but. I don't know if I'll have the time to pull it off. Uh, something like that's going to take a lot of planning. Also, I don't have enough ghost stories to like last an hour or two. <laughs> I mean, like I, I, it could be like an open open chat type thing where people just tell like their ghost stories and stuff like that. But I don't know. I'll see. Uh, what I'm thinking about, you know what? Maybe that could work. That might work. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, I'll have to think about it. I could do both. I could just do like horror horror stories or not hor- yeah like horror stories and like VR horror games VR. And what what's today? Today's Sunday. Okay, you know what? May, we may get some word on a Halloween sale for Steam like n- this week or something like that. Hopefully, I hope so, dude. I I need a I need to pick up something for Halloween. I just haven't decided what yet. Uh, I don't know. I was going to I should have done a Halloween special like I did last year, but I I didn't do it unfortunately. Um I just didn't have any ideas. I kind of have an idea, but I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off in time. I probably could. It wouldn't be that hard to do. Uh I I just don't want to do all that work for it right now. Uh Yeah. Nah, so the I I probably won't do like a Halloween special like on YouTube like I did last year. Uh it was pretty good. I liked it. Gonna dip. See you later, alligator. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no problem, dude. I'm about to end stream right now, anyway. So if you want to hang around for the raid, uh, feel free to, and we'll find a uh, we'll find a raid target soon. Who is streaming right now? Let's see. We got a, we got a lot of people today. Uh, but I'm thinking of see sending y'all later, you guys. Bra. Yeah, but I'm thinking of sending y'all to uh, Cat is bad at games. Because there's really nobody else around right now. Hey, you know we're we're gonna go check check out Cat. She dropped by the stream earlier, and she's super cool. Uh, she's playing near Replicant, I think. Yeah, I think she's playing near Replicant. Uh, she's been on that for a while, so hopefully she's getting close to finishing it. Uh, let me see, Cat. There she is. Cat is bad at games. Let's go ahead and get the outro set up. I need to actually get around to equalizing oh, the audio on this one because it's it's so out hell? of balance in a lot of places. So I'm going to... I'll get this sorted out. I'll get all this sorted out, like, in the end. But, uh... There's so much I got to do, man. Start raid. Let's give the noodles um, a taste. Let's see what those taste see. like. Trying to think of a raid message. I don't. I don't get a raid message. A I never have raid out. messages. I'm so bad at these. I was thinking of one like the entire time. I, I, I but don't I couldn't want to think be of one when there's only one other guy here. And it's yeah, but it's fine. And it's whatever. For like, uh, like I said, I'll catch you guys on Monday, 5 p.m. Central. We're gonna hopefully finish up Resident Evil 2. I figured out how to get the shotgun. So that'll be fun. Story of my life. No raid messages. Uh, Gondo raid. We'll just do Gondo raid. Gondo raid's the classic one. The pickle man tricked me again. Not so. Gondo raid. There we go. Anyone in my entire life. Let's Let's see. Thing to do and then we'll do greets. the uh, we'll do the the helicopter emote. Gondo raid. Gondol five. Gondolcopter. There we go. Classic Gondo raid message. I really need to work on it i do i'm just what the hell i don't know why like i can come up with titles and i can come up with like other messages and stuff like that but i just can't come up with raid messages for some reason i'm just bad at them it's like the one thing i'm bad at when it comes to streaming i just can't do raid messages 
But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for showing up. Uh, I hope y'all had a good time. Uh, thank you everyone that followed today. Uh, really means a lot. Very much appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later.